Bada boom, baby bow. Baby to bow. Uh, am, I, am I here? Can everyone see me? Hello, friends. How are you doing on this glorious break week? Let me, I need to dip. Hang on. Yeah. How is everyone doing today on this glorious break week? The first break week of many, unfortunately. Oh my god. Let's see. All right, let's see. First time catching a live. What's up? What's up? Awesome. Sweet. You know, you never know with these things. You just you just never know. All right, Goofy, what time is it in your country here? It's 3 a.m.? Dude, it's... No, nah, man, it's 5 p.m. Not even 5 p.m. yet. It's 3 a.m. and you're here? That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for being here. Wow. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. We're going to have a great time today. I just wanted to talk to all of you. And also, I did a stream when I was at a 20K subscribers. Um, just thanking everybody, you know, just for like the takeoff. And would you guys just look what we have right here? Like, oh my God, OMG, who is she? Look at this, it's got a mirror inside of it, dude. Bro, this is like, this is awesome. I, I know that I did a, a video about this already, but I never did a live. So thank you guys for all of this. I don't know how many people are in the chat right now. I just, I probably should have waited for more people to get in here. Um, so I'll just hold this up. For the people that are coming in, um, we did it. We're all goofy goobers, yeah. We did it. We're all goofy goobers, yeah. Let's let's see. Beautiful, congrats. Thank you so much. Yo yo yo. Please forgive the self indulgence. I just this is all this is all you guys. Yo goofy, how you doing? I'm doing good, Podrick. Podrick from Game of Thrones. I hope. I, I mean, there's probably no way that's the real actor that plays Podrick from Game of Thrones. But I hope you're doing well, friend. And this feels conceited, just holding this up while I while I talk about it. I just wanted to say thanks. I don't know how often this is going to come up in the stream, so if you're here right now, um, you are so drippy, fam, for real, for real. Thanks, bro. Thanks so much. I mean, I'm just wearing a Ted Lasso shirt. Best show ever, by the way. Maybe not best show ever. It's pretty good. It's pretty... Hey, we just got another subscriber. At least I think that's what happens. We either got another subscriber or there's a bomb that's about to go off. <laughs> What in the name of God, Smokey? A hundred dollar donation? What is, hang on a second. Is this an American currency or is this, sometimes y'all be goofing me. It'll be like a hundred dollar donation, but it's in like Monopoly money. <laughs> it's like four cents you donated. Good God, hang on a second. Oh my God. Still need more tales of the magic Captain Crackhead. They're coming. I mean, good God. You keep, you keep talking, you keep, if the bag keeps talking, anything you guys want is coming. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Smokey. My God. I, I, yeah, maybe that, you know, first of all, thank you for the hundred dollar donation. Even if that is 15 cents or Monopoly money, you know, I appreciate it. Really, Smokey, for real, for real. I'll be seeing you, uh, in the comments and, you know, and it, it just everywhere. And you're my dog, bro. I'm going to put this down because, it, you know, the weight of it is starting to get to me. I feel like I just, you know, this isn't about me today. I just wanted again to say thank you guys so much. We went from 20K to, um, I mean, obviously to where we are now, what was I about to say? <laughs> we went from 20K to 50K to 100K, like, duh, that's how we got here, that's how counting works. Um, but thank you guys so much. So now we can get on to what I really wanted to talk about, and, um, let's see, when will Wano is hilarious, uh, coming? I'm excited. I just, man, Smokey, thank you so much, actually. I'm gonna answer that question, but Smokey, thanks so much, man. Again, even if that is Monopoly money, you're just such a dog. Is there any way for me to check? You know what, it's not about the money. If you just sent 15 cents, my dog, you, you know what, I, I appreciate you all the same, but if you sent 100 in USD, you're a dog, bro. I got I owe you a drink. That doesn't seem, oh man, thank you so much. Um, all right, let's see. Don Cree comes back. Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. How do you say that? Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. It's just Parmesan. I just can't read. Okay, it's just Parmesan cheese. Um, if Don Cree comes back, I don't, I have, I, what, what, what is, that's, okay, cool. Cool, 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 I guess. You guys know how I feel about Don Creek. I can confirm that I am the real Podrick. Well, uh, you know. Maybe you could have stopped them from filming season eight, Podrick. I, can I blame you? Is it is it free to just blame you for this then? 
Smokey really scraped them nickels together. Pull back off screen one more time. YouTube be trying to demonetize the hell out of me. And I'm be like, why? What am I doing? They let Sneeko on the platform for years. They let Fresh and Fit on the platform for years. I make a couple anime jokes, and they're like, we got to get this guy out of here. The whole reason I made a Patreon. I'm not greedy. I just wanted to make my own content. And like, oh, my God. I just still can't believe that, man. I still cannot believe that. Like, how the hell? How? The, how you know, it's cool. It's not even like breaking any laws, by the way. It's very much my own thing. But you know what? I'm, I'm getting off topic. You know what? This isn't about them. This is about us. And the community, you're right. I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to pull it back. Um, <clears throat> it's cold, hard American cash. That's a Benji Franklin. Thank you, Smokey. You're my dog. For real, for real, bro. I just like... God, thanks, bro. Honestly, Smokey, where are you from? Where are you at? Um, I'm planning my... Uh, um, we're going to an anime convention, I th I'm pretty sure. And it's not set up yet, but I think that's going to be in Jersey. So... When I learn a little bit more about it during the stream, I'll be able to just tell everybody in case everybody... Because, like, to my knowledge, it's not, like, a big convention. Like, my, my buddy Moose, who mo a lot of you know already, my buddy Moose has to be there, and um, we're going to go there. We're basically just going to crash it. So if he misses this part of the stream, he just won't even know that we're going to be there. The, actually, that's a funny story. Before we get into anything, I have to, I have to tell you guys this. Um, like... Um, the, 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 like my buddy was like he was saying that he I was making birthday plans and he was talking about how he couldn't go and he was like because I've got a convention and like in that convention like you know it's in the same date as my birthday so we looked up what conventions would be there because he helps his girlfriend like uh shoot uh like I guess take pictures of the convention and um so we were looking like all right well which convention is it you know because you know me I, I like anime if it's got something to do with anime he should have told me maybe I could go there I guess whatever we looked it up and the only convention we could find was gaze in space it's like a sci-fi convention celebrating fictional queer like uh like astronauts which I mean I swear to God that's what the title was I'm not being like homophobic or anything that's what the title and the description was and it was so funny because he didn't tell us what it was called but that was the only one that we could find and I was like so like listen I've got nothing against which is like why would he not tell us that like did he think I would be like, you know what, I've got no problem with people who want to be gay, and I don't have any problem with people that are in space, but you know what, I draw the line when those two things come together. Like, why did he hide that if that's the one that he's going to? But I think he did say it was like an anime convention, so maybe we'll be there. That was a long tangent for me just asking where you're at, Smokey, but if you are in New Jersey, then come on down. Tell YouTube they got to deal with me if they demonetize you. By the way, I'm in Florida, I'll buy you a drink. Smokey, I was only in Florida for Miami once, it was a crazy time. Crazy time. You my dog. You that was is that another fifty dollar donation, Smokey? My gosh. Oh, Smokey. Smokey, Smokey, Smokey. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is gonna be a good stream. We haven't even gotten into the things that I want to talk about yet. This is awesome. What if Oda is about to, is about to play an April Fool's joke on us? Is that when the chapters are supposed to come back? Is it's it's gonna be April Fools? Please don't say that's the case. If please don't say that. Please don't say that. I don't... What if... <laughs> because that's not, like, how you should do an April Fool's joke. If anything, it should be, like... Uh, the way to do that joke would be, like, Odo would, like, say, like, all right, we're going to be on break for three weeks, and then, like, um, the next day the chapter drops. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, don't, like, say it's going to drop in three weeks, and then three weeks comes, and it just doesn't show up. That's, that's just cruel. We had a $10 donation from Phoenix Rising. Love your goofy series, bro. Such a unique and well-executed series. I've seen every single one. Keep it up for real. Also, stay strong, brother. These break weeks really do be killing us. They be Phoenix Rising, dude, bro. I really think the fandom just, we just be getting out of control, like, slowly. Like, the agendas get out of control. People, we just run out of stuff to talk about, which is, well, we don't run out of stuff to talk about. Actually, yeah, that's true. We don't run out of things to talk about. Everybody just keeps building the things up over and over again to a point to where like just fights start happening like on twitter like the agendas going at it with each other it's funny but that stuff gets out of hand sometimes i don't know so yeah this three-week break is gonna kill us we got a 50 gifted oh my god from lothar that sounds so familiar 
Bro, thank you so much. Oh my good God. Whoa, look at the stream. Lothar, this is what you did. He brought us out the hood. Lothar and Smokey and Phoenix Rising. They got us out the hood. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh my God. I didn't know. I did not know this could happen. This is insane. Holy moly. Oh my good God. That is, wow, it's, I, is this just going to be like this? I'm okay with that. What if I just kept, <laughs> well, guys, you're going to have to be really loud with your theories about what the next chapter is going to be, because Lothar has just blinded everyone with his incredible generosity. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, my God. Holy cow. Look at the chat. That's what I'm saying. This is incredible. My God. Um, I did want to, maybe I should wait till the screen isn't like... <laughs> There's so many frog emojis. That's so funny. Okay, there we go. I, I did want to say, um, cause there was some, uh, oh my, oh my God. Wait, wait a minute. What is it happening again? Hang on a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> it happened again. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Lothar, and just everybody that's in here. I wanted to clarify the difference between, like, my Patreon and then, like, the um, the people that are, like, joining on YouTube. Originally, the Patreon wasn't even in, like, my plan. So I made the Grand Fleet stuff on my uh, YouTube for people who just wanted to, like, give. You know, I set that to where, like, the most you could, like, you know, to sign up is, like, one ninety nine because it's really just, like, you know, you're part of the Grand Fleet. Like, I don't want to, like, mainly just, like, for live streams and maybe I was going to come up with other things. Things. When I found out I had to make the Patreon, I felt kind of bad that that was like that joining on YouTube already existed because like I didn't really have content planned for that. It's really just like on Patreon because obviously the content, the Patreon exists for content that I can't post on YouTube or content that YouTube has taken down and then other per perks. So I wouldn't be able to post that to YouTube even under a mem membership. Um, so, um, so yeah, what I want to do is for oh, geez, there it happened. It's happening again. <laughs> Smokey, shout out whoever gave me a gifted thank you. Smokey with a $50 dollar. Smokey, what do you do? Do you just like, <laughs> why do you have so much paper, bro? You're awesome. Smokey's richer than me. Smokey needs to fund the rest of the hilarious series. The production value is definitely going to go up with Smokey in my corner. Um, but I wanted to say, everyone who joins on YouTube, like, that's going to be mainly for, like, live streaming, I want to say. Like, every anytime you comment, I'll be able to see exactly who you are. It's also for comments on YouTube videos. So anytime you post a comment, I reply to all of those. I'm, I, I'm, I was, I want to say, like, with absolute certainty, I've never missed one yet. But regardless, like, those are the ones, like, I try to comment to on as many people as possible. Some people be wilding with those comments, and some people... You just got to ignore them, to be honest. Uh, some people, however, are really, really funny. So if you think, if you are one of those really, really funny people, I would hate to miss your comment, then please consider, you know, joining the Grand Fleet here on YouTube. If not, the Patreon's got, like, content and things like that. Or just keep watching. You know, we're all having a good time. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. All right, just received a gift of sub. Feels good. Feels good. Doesn't it, Henry? Doesn't it feel good? This dude, Smokey, is crazy. Smokey is crazy. Smokey's, Smokey's my type of crazy, though. I feel like if me and Smokey went out drinking and, like, we would both be just, like, um, and I guess Lothar, too, because he just, he flooded that screen with those emojis. He's awesome. If me, Lothar, and Smokey went out drinking, I, well, first of all, I would clearly be the most insane, but what I love most about those two, even though I've never met them before, I have a, I have this feeling that they would not stop me. They would not stop me. And in fact, whenever I have a, a, a really ridiculous idea, that's what I love about making new friends. They don't know how to stop you or pull you away from the crazy things that you like introduce to the group. Like if I'm like, I'm going to go ride that bull. What is Smokey going to say? Hey, Moogie, don't do that. No, Smokey's going to be like, here is... 50 more dollars. <laughs> Fulfill your dreams, Goofy. <laughs> I'm down. We'll definitely produce a hilarious series. Yeah, definitely will. Moogie, who do you have for the Super Bowl 59? It's the Lions. Uh, you know, I, I just stopped, like... Because the football... Football is so depressing. Um, are the Lions in the Super Bowl? Because if so, I'll, I'll, put my, I'll place my money on the Lions. I'm from Detroit. Well, I was born in Detroit. Saying I'm from Detroit feels disingenuous. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Smokey and Lothar are the most super here. Frankie, how you doing? I probably should have told people that I was going live. I don't... I think... <laughs> I think Frankie's one of my... Oh, no, okay. Arash is here, too. 
I haven't seen pink or anybody yet. I probably should have told people I was going live, but we're doing great. Let's see. I love how they made one of the saints in Arcle Arcleplaco. The hell are you? What? Archeo Archeopticu Pocketi Archeopitirex. <laughs> I don't. Is that what they made him? I I just know there's a pterodactyl. There's a um. Uh, everybody in the comments was like, "That's not how you pronounce it." Well, that's how it's spelled, isn't it? That's how it's spelled. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this Super Dupa 808. Not gonna lie, this break is killing me. I want to see the next chapter, but I'm also glad that Oda is using this time to relax and get his mind and body together. That's what I'm saying. This is not like obviously we can have our like you know this is raw. You know I don't want to wait for my One Piece, but also it's like you know those they work hard, bro. Like like I read or not read. I was in a video like I forgot who. Oh hold up, we got another some Smokey. I'm jumping on the bull with you, Goofy. I ain't stopping you. Here's some. Money. <laughs> Literally, it's just I ain't stopping you. Here's somebody. Go for it. Give me a twenty and then go fulfill your dreams. That's why me and Smokey can't go to Australia. We'll find a kangaroo and I'll be like, I, you know, I, I, I think I can, I can take that kangaroo. Delusion. No human being can fight. Well, and I won't say won't. No human can take it. I definitely cannot box a kangaroo. But you give me a couple uh, Coors Lights. You give me a couple Coors Lights. A couple, couple uh, Jameson shots. And we get out there to that outback, and I tell you what, I'm. I'm going toe to toe with Kangaroo Jack. I tell you, he ain't gonna be able to steal one on me. I tell you that much right now. I'm gonna be like, and then I'm gonna hit him with a roundhouse kick. He's gonna be, he's gonna be thinking I'm gonna be attacking with these, but now nah, I'm, I'm gonna try to beat him in his own game. <laughs> Thank you so much, Smokey. Uh, Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx. I still, I'm gonna be on it. Just call it a T-Rex. Can we do that? Is that what it is? Is it a T-Rex? <clears throat> this break came right as I caught up. <laughs> That's foul. I'm sorry. J. Jonah Jam, I'm so sorry. That is foul, though. That is so foul. Pink did post in the Discord. You were live. Thank you, Pink. You know, my mods, like... God, they look after me so well. I'm basically just a child that has these... These impulses, and... Sometimes the intrusive thoughts win. Hello guys, I'm just, I just got back from three weeks in the future. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Did you know? I wonder what you found. News report, Mega Cut or short-lived Oda, I'm going on vacation. That's what I'm saying. I think that's what I was about. You guys know the work schedule of the, um, of mangakas? Like, I don't know, obviously, all of them, but Oda, dude, Oda, like, he gets up every morning, if I'm remembering this correctly, he gets up every morning at 4 a.m., and then goes to bed at 2 a.m. And he spends the entire period. So think about that. 4 a.m. in the morning. 4 a.m. Cat Williams has a joke. 4 a.m. is too early and too late. Okay? That is just... No one should be awake. And there's a joke in Ted Lasso about 4 a.m. Statistically speaking, it's the time most people are least prepared to defend themselves. 4 a.m. is just a bad time to do anything. He wakes up at 4 a.m. And he goes to bed at 2 a.m.? Incredibly unhealthy. And he spends all of that time... When he's not, like, either he's eating, sleeping, or he's eating, eating, sleeping, pooping, or writing One Piece. Like he's, he's spending all of his time doing that. And, man, I, I don't know. I just, you know, like, Phoenix Rising, welcome to the Grand Fleet. Howdy do, howdy do. Moogie owes me a drink from uh, Gear 5 stream. Well, I, I, pr I probably owe a lot of people drinks. I had to unlist that video. Good God, so much stuff happens. I'm glad you, I'm glad, so I met so many great people from that stream, and I'm glad you guys can still watch the stream, but good God, I was hammered. Um, let's see. I do owe you a drink. We need to figure out how to make that happen, Frankie, and... Miranda came down, um, I was able to get her a drink, at least I, th I'm sure that I did, I don't remember that night, we had, we had a great time, I had, a, we had a great time, me, it was me, Miranda, and Jim, and it was cool, 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 rest in peace to Kira Toriyama, grandfather of the original crackhead protagonist, for real, for real, though, for real, for real, Smokey, for real, astronaut, welcome to the Grand Fleet, how you doing, my dog, how you doing today, thank you for joining, Love the content, Moogie. Thank you. Well, Dylan Lawson, you are very welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for believing in me, placing your trust in this crackhead. All right, let's see. Moogie versus Zoro drinking contest. 
I don't really think I can even drink that much. I think I just rally like hard, like like really like I'll drink to where I'm like throwing up into the trash can, and then I'll as soon as it's over, I'll you'll find me at the bar, and I'll be like, yeah, let's 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 save this night. You know what I'm saying? Obviously not every time. You shouldn't. <laughs> that shouldn't be every Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, I think Zoro probably, Zoro, yeah, I think Zoro has me. I, I truly do not think that I would be able to do anything in, like, a contest with Zoro. I do think I'd hang with him, for real, for real. I think the only person on the crew that I know I could beat probably would be Usopp. Um, and I guess Luffy. Luffy, Luffy hung, Luffy hammered probably would be funny. And I guess Robin and Nami, I could probably beat them too. And I, ju I just feel like Jinbei is a really stoic drinker. But he would quit. He wouldn't be competitive with drinking. I can't beat Zoro. Let's just leave it at that. I just know that I wouldn't be able to beat Zoro. Uh, Parmesan cheese. Oda spends a lot of time taking a dump. Where would you get that information? I I don't know that he's not. That's like a, I think I heard it from Mother's Basement. I didn't hear that he said that. I just mean like the time frame from 4 a.m. to 2 a.m. Like that's when he's awake and working. And I assume some of that time he's got to take a dump. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's one of the things that Mother's Basement said. Great YouTube channel, by the way. Um, I'm doing well, thanks. Well, great, astronaut. I'm glad to hear it. You could destroy Chopper in a drinking contest. Yeah, but that isn't. I, I wasn't counting. I wasn't counting Chopper. That was, I don't see him. That doesn't seem fair to me, dude. That does not seem fair. Um, which girl say do you think joined Emu first, or do you think they all joined at the same time? I think they all joined at the same time. If they're even people, I think that all of the girls say like they clearly like those old. Dirty bastards, they don't trust anybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't, I cannot imagine, and I, I just cannot imagine that they are, like, each of them were recruited separately and everybody is just like, you know, yeah, like, okay, this is the new old guy that we got to trust this guy. I really think they're all of the same consciousness or they were all recruited at least at the same time. My buddy absolutely hates Chopper post time skip. Well, he's wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea why. I don't know why he thinks that. Um, Robin and Nami. You can't beat Nami. I might not be able to beat Nami. Nami can drink. That is a good thing. Nami can drink. Nami's a lot like Asia, I think. But I feel like I could beat Asia, so I think I can drink. I can beat Nami. Hello, Goofy Man. Uh, YXC. Firstly, hello, Goofy Man. Second, Innie's Lobby. Water 7 is hilarious win. Um, the next one I'm going to do is Long Ring, Long Land, and then I want to go in order. Up to... Well, not up to. I think I'm going to keep going because all of the main videos that I did on the channel when I first uh, started going, that was before I really knew what I wanted to do for YouTube and how I wanted to do this. So there's a lot of videos that I would redo. For instance, the Marineford is hilarious video. That's got like Sabaudi... I Impel Down and Marineford. We're gonna cut. We're gonna do all three of those as their own separate videos. And of course, I got to do Thriller Bark again. Thriller Bark is a joke video, for God's sake, guys. Like, there's so many people that are like, "Well, this video aged like spoiled milk." I was joking the whole time. Uh, granted, given the new information that we've received about Kuma's flashback, I get it. It's warranted being that protective over Kuma. I would like to apologize. Obviously, he does not hate the Straw Hats. The next Thriller Bark is hilarious. I think some, a lot, well, obviously I can't get, avoid talking about Kuma, um, so I will, but it won't be like, he's not going to be, I'm not going to make those jokes like, you know, like, yeah, he hates the straw hats. Like, imagine what it would be like like this. I still think those are funny, but given the information that we have now, it's just like, all versions of Kuma deserve our love, care, and respect. Even the goofy verse version of Kuma, especially the goofy verse version of Kuma. I would like to do the, like, similar to what I do in, like, the Kakashi Hilarious videos, where I introduce, like, kind of like a heartfelt element to it. I would love to do that with One Piece. The problem is, these lunatics are crazy. There's, like, it's, and it's, it's weird, because there's a lot of heartfelt moments in One Piece, but there's, I don't, I do not think I could do them nearly as much justice as I know I can the funny moments. But I still, I haven't given up. I'm going to work that in there. I want to. And if for anybody, I want it to be for Kuma. So, you know, be on the lookout for just a lot more hilarious videos. But next will be Long Ring Long Land is hilarious, I think. If not that, then, well, whatever. I won't get your hopes up. 
That's another thing you guys got to know about me. I'm really just a guy doing stuff. I don't think you think I have a, like a plan or a schedule. No. You see that briefcase? That briefcase back there? Some guy sold it to me. He told me that was the briefcase from Pulp Fiction, and he he, he literally sold it to me for a hundred dollars. And I was listen. We were we were in Vegas. I was hammered, and I was like, all right, listen. Well, give me the briefcase. I cannot get it open. I've been trying so much, and I've been like like really trying to get it open. Um, I almost made a video about it. I don't. I've tried every combination that I can. Um, something is inside of it. It's pretty heavy. I I don't know. You know. I just really want to know what's in that briefcase in Pulp Fiction, because that was either like a human soul or plutonium or I don't know what that was. What were we talking about? Basically, does anybody know how to get open a briefcase? I, I'll say that. That got that got off topic, but yeah. Um, I feel like I missed. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I want to read. They're all actually those yokai who ate different variants of the old man fruit. That's why they're so grumpy. What if they, the Gorosei are, are all just demons who ate, like, the old man fruit? The old man, old man fruit. What is old man in Japanese? Let's find out. That is so funny. That is so funny. Who had the Phoenix Rising, that is so funny. Hang on a second. Good God, that is so funny. Roji? Rojin, Rojin, that's not. Oh, uh, how about, let's just do. Furui, Furui. Old aged. What? You know what? Japanese is an incredibly hard language. Love it, though, honestly. I tried to learn Japanese. I learned the, the katakana and the hiragana, got to the kanji, and I was like, there's a third language? I'm out. I'm, I'm disqualified. I am no smarter than a fifth grader. I will concede that. I am no smarter than a fifth grader. Osano sano mi. I hope that's old man. Scroll up. I guessed it. I literally wrote it in chat. Uh, let me see. I freaking guessed it. I mean, you, I imagine the Gorosei were all just animals which were taken in by emu as pets and they accidentally ate the human human fruit and that's why they care so little about human lives and that's why they... <laughs> Nali, is that how you pronounce that? Nali? Dude, yeah, that's hilarious. So Phoenix Rising and Nali, uh, or uh, let's see. Yeah, that both of you guys, that is hilarious. What if that is exactly what it is? Oji-san, I thought it was Oji-san too. Uh, or Jisan, Jisan, Jisan no me, Oji-san no me, G G G G G G G G no me. <laughs> Emu was just the Stella of the Gorosei. They are extensions of Emu. Nick, I believe that too, because these they don't trust anybody, and I doubt Emu trusts anybody either. Have you thought of a small controlled explosion? I I mean, in my room, in my home, or what do you mean? <laughs> If you could, what devil fruit would you eat? Probably the the flame flame fruit. I love fire based attacks. If I was a bender in Avatar, I'd be a fire bender. So I'm always trying to like, you know, the lightning fruit that Anel has is pretty OP too. It's just I, I have a hard time separating the fruit from the character. Anel's so just like sorry. I just I don't know if I really want that. But the flame flame fruit, it's tight. So I'd probably pick that one. <laughs> Parmesan cheese. I, bro, I love Pulp Fiction so much. I had a 30 minute talk with my dad about what was in the briefcase. Because what is in the briefcase? Okay? Because what, what's in there, man? I do love Pulp. I love me some Pulp Fiction. Um, if I would say favorite Tarantino would probably be Reservoir Dogs, though. Have you guys seen that movie chat? Reservoir Dogs? What pirate crew would you be in? Would you? Would I be on? What pirate crew would I be on? Probably Law's sorry uh, team because they don't. None of them have to have powers. None of them do anything. So I would want to be cold. Like I would still want to fight and do stuff. But like, you know, I'd get to hang out with like the straw hats and everything like that. It's because like otherwise, obviously, I would pick the straw hats. Like obviously, but at the same time, like the cannon, their cannon, like objective dynamic. I wouldn't want to like you know, just writing myself in there feels a little bit like. I don't know, you know? 
Goofy, use your new YouTube clout to collaborate with one of those lockpicking channels to help you with the briefcase. Arash, I... They're lockpicking channels? <laughs> Wait a minute. So, I, hang on. I, I got my video taken down and I got a strike for making a goofy anime video, but people are teaching other people how to pick locks on YouTube. Seems fair. Seems fair. Seems totally fine. <laughs> Isn't Reservoir Dogs a ripoff of an old Korean gangster movie? I'm not sure, Henry. Uh, if it is, uh, let us know what it's called. I will look it up, and then maybe we'll make a video about it on the second channel, which I, I'm thinking about making a... Well, I'm not thinking about I'm going to make a second channel to talk about things other than anime, because, like, God, I love, like, so many forms of media, for sure. And um, even, like, because the thing on this channel mainly is One Piece, obviously, which, not complaining, but sometimes I want to talk about other stuff, you know? For instance, did you guys see the new, like, chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen? Who is Miguel? Who is that? Who is that? The, the, why is a supporting character from Jujutsu Kaisen Zero fighting Sakuna? That's like, that's like Ebisu Sensei fighting Madara. Why is this happening? They literally ran out of people to fight Sakuna. The whole time, also, Yuchi's just running around the chapter like, hey guys, I'm still the main character. He has to remind us that, literally with his words. Oh my god. Use the tactical speed square, Doofy. I don't know what that is. Um, this sounds like something from Baldur's Gate. Use the tactical speed square, Goofy. Movie, you have great tastes in movies. Thank you, Parmesan cheese. Um... I like to think, I think anybody who's passionate about cinema, like, it's all about, like, expressing that. Because there's a lot of garbage movies being made. There's a lot of awful things being made. And then th they'll make those terrible movies and then blame the reason that, you know, like, this did bad because people hate, like, women or people of color. Like, no, you just, you just wrote a bad story, dude. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't make this about anything other than what it is. You cannot tell a story and you didn't care about telling a good story. Like, that's what I'm passionate about. So, like, when you do that and then you blame people for, like, your mess-ups, like, there are certain people in Hollywood, like, when I get to Hollywood, dude, like, it's up for them. Ryan Johnson, it's up for you. You ruined, you made the worst Star Wars movie ever. Cannot, you know, it's up for you. Like, literally, I will just arrive and, like, take off my shirt like I'm Randy Marsh and I'm just like, listen, we got to do this. Zack Snyder's another one. Who keeps letting him make movies? There's literally no play. No, no. Who keeps letting him make movies? This is ridiculous. It's it's honestly, he shouldn't be. He truly should not be allowed to make movies anymore. He doesn't care. He does literally does not care. And the reason why it's up for both of them is like, not only do they make bad movies, dude, they don't care that they're making bad movies. They literally will like tell you like, all right, it's your fault that you don't like this. Like he said that people that don't like the fact that Batman kills in his movies, they're like defending their God and they are like they're like resisting like the change that the character needs to have and it's it, he said a bunch of dumb stuff and it's like he literally only read like two comic books like you know what i mean there are relatable ways that you can make batman to have him actually kill but he didn't do the work to present that so he just objectively did the worst job batman versus superman is a terrible movie a terrible plot the Zack snyder version of like i think everybody thinks that that's like better than um, the original Justice League, they're both bad movies, dude. He literally just created, like, he did the same things, made it four hours long, added Martian Manhunter in a way that did not involve, it didn't benefit the plot at all. He just shoehorned Martian Manhunter in there and then was like, see, this is what I would do. W do you want to give me some more money so that I can make this movie? And it's like, no, dude, he's literally like, you know Medea in that South Park episode where Tyler Perry comes to South Park and Token's the only one laughing and he keeps giving Tyler Perry money? That's Zack Snyder. People keep giving him money so he makes these terrible movies. Rebel Moon, I have not seen. I know it's bad. I just know it in my bones. I don't like talking about movies that I haven't seen, but God, I know that's a bad movie. I know it is. I know it's stupid. Okay, so those are those two people. This is not turning into a predicting one people. We're going to get to it. This is going to be, we'll just make the stream, you know, as long as it needs to be. So let's see. Snyder Cut is great. Frankie, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Frankie, I love you. I will not, I don't argue with my mods. I, I do politely disagree. I think Snyder is a plague on cinema. Um, the the writers of Game of Thrones, too. It's up for them if I ever see them. Like, w you know, it's up for them. Lothar, words cannot describe how disappointed I was in Batman. Dude, Lothar, remember the hype going into it, dude? I do not think anyone who made that movie should be allowed to cook ever again. That's what I'm saying. Do you remember the hype going into that, bro? Batman and Superman finally share a screen. And then they did the Martha scene. 
and then nothing, no part of anyone's character makes sense. Batman was always like, listen, if there's even a 1% chance that he could go rogue, we got to kill him. And what brought him back from the brink? Martha! Sorry. Sorry. And then the Snyder version of the Justice League. It's... Uh, I think... I would I would ask people what they like about it so that I can like ask them sincerely like do you like this because the story is good or do you like this because it looks cool and I don't think like what is the story there to be honest the whole flash thing that everybody likes it's a payoff that wasn't earned and if he can just reverse time with no consequences that's that's just not that's not storytelling he pressed up like i love uh there's a youtuber that i love uh mauler he breaks it down pretty well it's like the flash pressed a button that no one on earth wouldn't press you know what i mean he just he literally just did something with no consequences and and you know because the soundtrack was cool and that it looked cool everybody was like yeah give this idiot director more movies Oh, there's just so much. Let's see. What's the Martha scene? You don't. You know the Martha scene, Mario. Don't play coy. Wait. Oh my God. Your mother has the same name as my mother. Holy cow! I no longer care about anything else except for this random coincidence that completely changes my entire character arc. Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you. This is why I need to make the second channel so we can do podcasts on movies and stuff. Because like, dude, like, this, this, it heated me up. I've been a massive DC fan, Salty Walty. That's a cool name, by the way, or just a funny name, Salty Walty. I've been a massive DC fan since I was a child, and what the DC universe is and has become makes me so sad. Why they got to do my boys like this? I don't know, dude. I even liked, um, I even liked, uh, Man of Steel. I understand how, like, it could be considered, like, you know, this is what I want to say, actually. If you like a movie and that it's, that's objectively a bad movie, that's okay. I don't, I, it's not that I think Man of Steel is a good movie, but I enjoyed it. I liked Henry Cavill's Superman a lot. I saw the potential there, and there was a lot of things that I enjoyed about the movie. I can see how making a Superman movie be that dark messes with the themes of Superman and what he's supposed to represent, and how Zack Snyder actually didn't do any of the work in that one movie to justify anything that he did. Since it was setting up like a whole trilogy, maybe, you know, it could have been justified. You know what I'm saying? That's why I... I, I don't hate it, and I still watch it. The flight scene is really cool. The, the soundtrack is amazing. Um, but I still concede that, I, you know, if you think that it's a bad movie, I, I'm not going to argue with you. I, I will give you that argument because Zack Snyder cannot direct and he can't act, not act. He can't write and he can't direct, apparently, because those movies are terrible. And there's some things that I notice about The Man of Steel, too. Like, it's not just a bias towards Zack Snyder. Like, I do recognize that, you know, there's some writing issues with Man of Steel. But I still like it. I think if people are just get comfortable with, like, another movie I like, Eight Crazy Nights with Adam Sandler. Is that because it's a profound movie that I would recommend to my peers? No, it's because I like Adam Sandler, okay? That's it. That's it. I'm okay with admitting that it's a, it's a bad movie. Dude, I think more people should be okay with that. You don't have to defend The Last Jedi with your whole heart, dude. It's a, it's a terrible movie with bad characterization. If you like it, that's fine. Defend it, like, subjectively. But objectively, it's a terrible movie. Please stop. I get so heated up whenever I see stuff like that on uh, Twitter. People are like, actually, this is the best character arc Luke has ever had. And I'm just like, so you just can't read, is, is basically what you're telling me. You just do not understand <laughs> characters and how... What would it mean for the character that literally brought, like, his father back from the brink? His father was, by all rights, one of the most evil men in the world, committed countless acts of, like, countless atrocities. And then there's the Emperor, too. He didn't lose his cool with his father or the Emperor, but he saw his nephew having hate fantasies in a dream, and he was like, I gotta kill this little bastard. Like, that does not make sense. It's not the Luke Skywalker that we wanted to see, nor is it the one that they... And if you if you take a character there, you have to do the work. You have to do the work. You have to show us what how that happened. Everyone who defends that movie writes the story for Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams. Like, I feel like whenever you mention how The Last Jedi is the worst Star Wars movie, people start bringing up, like, well, J.J. didn't do any... J.J. Abrams didn't do anything better, and it's like, I didn't say that. I just think that... And when you look at the damage of the characters, yeah, Ryan Johnson should be committed. He is a he is a plague on cinema. Woo, sorry, I, see, it's happy hour, so I got a little bit ranky. Let's see. All right, let's get back to One Piece. Good God, that was like a rant. All right, I, I wanted to read one thing. All of media messing stuff up, uh, like they made my boy Optimus Prime a bad guy for two movies. How? Oh my God, I'm glad I did. I didn't even know that. That's why. I hope it made sense, but I know it didn't. 
Goofy, who do you think is going to be the final straw hat? I can't recall where, but I think Otis said there was one more spot on the crew. My bet's on Bonnie. My bet would be on Bonnie, too. Just because where else is she going to go, to be honest? So I would say Bonnie. I, w I would say Bonnie. Um, why did you say that name? Gundam, yes. This is so stupid. Snyder is the crackhead of the DC Universe. I don't even listen. Then I'm the other crackhead. If the DC Universe is a Walmart parking lot, me and Zack Snyder are the crackheads meeting up, fighting over a 65-inch television. Because he cannot keep doing, he can't keep, he can't keep getting away with this. Fight me. The word objective is the worst word to describe art quality. Um, I would, I don't know if I would agree. I read a book called Restoring Pride by Richard Taylor, and it talks about how pride is a sin when, when you're looking at it through society, but at the same time, like, in terms of art and, like, creation, some people are objectively better than others. For instance, if I call myself a painter and I draw stick figures making out, uh, technically... I am a painter, but should I be held up in the same regard as like someone who did the Mona Lisa? You know, no. And the book goes in vivid detail as to why that is. My argument for Zack Snyder and Ryan Johnson is that they are objectively terrible. You can subjectively love them, but there are things that you can reference in the writing and the, the way that they direct and the scenes that they chose and the scenes that they cut for why they're bad. That's, and that's my point. In the same way that if I drew stick figures making out, you could objectively tell me that you could objectively break apart while the Mona Lisa is better than that. That would be my point. Let's see. We've seen all the other worst gens get taken out one by one. Yeah. Yeah, we have. We have. Morgan's is confirmed last straw hat. That'd be hilarious. I would love that. Especially with the way the last chapter showed her hope. Yeah, I think so. My bet would be on Bonnie. I would say Bonnie would totally be would totally be the next straw hat. Totally, totally, totally. Um, so let's see. Did you see the theory that Kid is the seventh Vegapunk? I did, Andy. I did. Um, I, I guess Vegapunk, you know, he separated his consciousness. And, you know, I guess that seven part was all the useless information in his head. Because Kid just did not do... Let me stop. There shouldn't be any Kid slander. But what did he do? What did he really do? I don't know. Uh, Sanji has canonically never been shown eating a pickle. Really? What does that mean, though? Zack Snyder objectively has said that he does not care what the fans think about the character and that it needs to go a different way because he wants it. That's why a lot of people dislike him. Exactly, Phoenix Rising, and I, I hate him. Do you believe in the Kaku Redemption Arbor? Absolutely not. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. A $20 super chat. Bro, them, that One Piece chat, I can't say it enough, but this guy here is legendary. We got to link up again. Funny you should say that. Because I am working on uh, my buddies in Jersey. I'm, we're trying to get, and there's also an anime convention that's going to be in, uh, in Jersey. And it's also my birthday. And um, so in April, three weeks from now, we're working on that. So it's like the weekend of the 19th. Are you guys free? Let's link up. Let's link up. Let's do like literally anything. Like even if it's not on screen, off screen, I don't care. But we'll be we'll be in your city if you guys are in Jersey. Love the boys at that One Piece chat, dude. That or that One Piece talk, dude. That was that was such that was such a fun time. It was so funny. So I'll definitely I'll be uh, sending you guys a DM and then link putting that up further. But like yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be in your city even if you don't have even if you're busy. Let's pull up. Let's get a drink or something for real for real. Let's see. Da, 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 da. You guys go go check out. I don't know. Everybody here probably already knows that One Piece talk. They're doing great, but make sure you go over there. Check out them. Uh, they are sometimes they be wilding on there. Honestly, like I I feel like I forgot what it was. They said something. They said something about like. Uh, not not all of them. Larry was on my side, I'm pretty sure, but I think it was Seb. I can't remember if it was if it was Lawrence and Lionel too. But they said that Kaido could beat Krillin, and I'm just like, I I don't know. What do what do you guys think, basically? But that's the wildest one. I think I remember that mostly. I'm just like, come on, guys, it's a different verse. It's a different verse. Don't do this. Um, but they're great. You guys should definitely, I mean, obviously check them out, subscribe, like, you know, everything. My dogs, for real, for real. That's like, 
We, we worst generation, folks. We got to stick together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, LOL. We're going to be ready. Let's do it. Yeah, April 19th. I'll send you. Yeah, like I said, we'll link up some more about it. But yeah, just plan on me. We're doing it. Seven Law said Kaido could beat Kralin. See, I just don't. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm ready to have that. We should make that an entire, like, we need to do, we need to come up with, like, a bunch of, like, topics like that and then do, like, a podcast like that. Just, like, can this person beat this person? Um, like, like, death battle, but just, like, us goofing around. Because that's wild to me. I don't know. What is Kaido? No, I'm just going to let it go. A destructo disc? What is, I'm, I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. Uh, let's see. Wasn't a spider lady a spider that ate a human human fruit? If that's true, that is very funny. The um, the guy or the woman that uh, Sanji called Robin for help for, that would be hilarious. That would be very funny. York is gluttony, Atlas is wrath, and Kid is useless if he's the seventh Vegapunk. <laughs> Kid is all the knowledge that Vegapunk got from watching YouTube videos. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't need this. So I get, we'll just put it in this guy. <laughs> Who cares who beats who? What's so boring? Fight me. Who cares who beats who? That's so boring. I... In what relation? Deco is a great man character. Fight me. Did you just come in here to, like, just start fighting? This this character... Your main handle is Deco is a great man character. Fight me. It's everything... Like, I think... Weren't you the person who defended Zack Snyder, too? You just trying to get people to disagree with you and argue? That I, like, <laughs> That's funny if it is. Or I can't tell if you're kidding or not, but... Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. I feel like a destructo just would kill Kaido. Lothar, that's what I'm saying. And even if it wouldn't, Kaido's just a dragon. He's just a big ass drunk lizard, guys. That's like he he puts in work in the One Piece verse, but Goku and them be blowing up planets, guys. Please, please. If Krillin can take getting punched in the face by Frieza. I think he can run the ones with Kaido. I don't think that's unrealistic, honestly. I don't defend Zack Snyder, but I do like his movies. Ruckus, 790, that is perfectly fine. Like I said, I like Eight Crazy Nights and plenty of other movies that, you know, I just don't defend in arenas. You don't even have to, like, even think that they're bad. But I just feel like when there's, like, a lot of evidence and, like, things that it's like, you know, I don't know. Man of Steel was a good movie, LOL. That, that's what I was saying earlier. I like Man of Steel. I do like Man of Steel. I can't defend it because, like, 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 there's some things that are called to attention, like when you talk about the themes of Superman and things like that. But I enjoyed Man of Steel. That One Piece talk, that feels stupid. Wh whichever one is, but whether it's Larry or, or Lord, whoever's saying that, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I enjoy Man of Steel, but... I don't think I would defend it because, honestly, I don't know. I don't like Zack Snyder. Kaido, he would be granting wishes to Krillin. <laughs> I mean, could Krillin kill Shenron, the dragon? Ooh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> that's basically all Kaido is is Shenron in that hole. Watchmen was also pretty dope, just not the intro. Watchmen, oh, Zack Snyder did do that. Maybe it's just, well, no, I'm pretty, isn't Watchmen DC 2? I did like Watchmen 2. Maybe I just hate him for Batman versus Superman and the Justice League movies. Maybe Zack Snyder can do stuff that's good. I don't know, but for real, when he's standing up against the world machine and makes me cry. <laughs> uh, I think, let me see, let me see. Black Maria ate a spider spider fruit. She changed her into a hybrid form. Okay, so that's why. That would be hilarious if a spider just ate a fruit. Let's see, Mad Monka Rouge is the only worst generation guy we haven't seen yet. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm, let me finish reading that. But you just, I've completely forgot about him. Hang on a second. MYC, Mad Monka Rouge is the only worst gen guy we haven't seen yet. Will he be a key player in Elbath? I, like, he's running out of places to be a key player in. <laughs> he's, uh, what, what more? What is there left for him to do? And I think the only thing I remember about him is Oda was like, yeah, this guy loves to have sex. This guy, he be, he be getting to it. That's the only thing I remember Oda said about him. Piccolo killed Shinron in Dragon Ball. Boom. Boom. Piccolo did do that. Okay. Wait, did he? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, in Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah, he did. In Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball. So if he did that, then that stands to reason. 
I mean, what is Kaido? Kaido is just a dragon, guys. He's a dragon. He's got some durable skin. Yeah, they be doing cool stuff or whatever, but I just, I just, I don't believe that. I truly do not believe that. So I want to get like a, a good list of things of people that would like fight in different verses, and then I want to talk about that because like those are always the most interesting things to me, honestly. I want to get like a huge list of like people, or not like a huge list, but like a list of people and then go toe to toe. Like, you know, Naruto and Luffy and stuff like that. Or a good one that I've always wanted to see is Naruto, Luffy, and Ichigo versus Goku. I just want to see all three of them try to fight Goku. Because Goku's not going to one-shot him. He loves a challenge and he loves, like, working with people. Vegeta would be in there and just clowning him until one person gets a transformation that humbles Vegeta. And that would be hilarious. But Goku would just be, like, you know, trying to mentor these people. You feel me? I want to see that so bad. That way, Law has a friend who's not a psycho. Yeah, yeah, I'll <laughs> I'll join his crew. And then, what if a rude saved Law from Blackbeard? Ooh, Frankie, that that's what you meant. That would be that'd be interesting. We just need to see more. I truly don't know anything. Like, did we see what he can do? Like, what his powers are? Like, what are Mad Monk or Rouge's powers? Does he have? I want to say like he's got wind powers, but I don't even know if that's true. I don't know why p number one kid pirates fan said I don't know why people think kid was weak. Oda just had to go out of his way to hype up Shanks. Look, I agree with you. It's unfortunate the slander that kid gets. It's funny jumping on the bandwagon. It truly is, but you know, if I were to look at it realistically, it's not like he's done a lot of things like that are, you know, that we should be slandering him for. Other than trying to fight Shanks right after fighting Kaido, I just, I, I mean, dude, like, you take a break, kid. Just take a break. Like, I get it. You on action and stuff like that. But Luffy is on go like that. This is Luffy's show. You cannot do it like him, buddy. Just stop. Think things through, Vegeta. You're not even being a realistic Vegeta. Vegeta would, I don't think Vegeta's ever been one shot like that before. I mean, Frieza was playing with his food, and it was sad on Namek, but if Kid is really trying to be a rival to Luffy, I don't know, like... Because what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Luffy would have been one-shot by Shanks? And I really don't have a bias toward that. I don't have an agenda towards it. It's possible that he could have been. I don't know. His devil fruit is suspected to be the power of karma, or something like that. Yeah, what does that mean, guys? Like, what is... <laughs> Like, that One Piece talk, what is, what does that mean? Like, what is, his devil fruit is, like, it's karma? What is, what is that, what is that, what does that mean? We don't know anything about this guy. Oh, hell, Scratchman of Pooh is in the chat. Ah, pa, 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 check your route. What is he, pretending to be my navigation now? Oh, my gosh. I, God, why is a poo in here? <laughs> Bad Monk Rouge actually has the same power of Ultra Ego. Dude, <laughs> what if Bad Monk Rouge? What if Bad Monk Rouge was nice like that? And he just has it. What has he been doing this whole time then? We were fighting Kaido for like 18 years. Where has Bad Monk Rouge been? God, that would be ridiculous. Kid wins the award for biggest dummy. Biggest crash out dummy. He saw Shanks and he was like, I'm about to crash out. And he just ran into Shanks. Really? He didn't even do that. He didn't even do that. Kid saw Kid saw Shanks and he was just like, yeah, I'm uh, like... Um, uh, I, you know, it, I'm crashing out, and and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna attack the weakest members of your crew first. Like I'm not even gonna crash out like how Luffy would crash out. That's the thing. If you're gonna crash out, you would better crash out like a true crackhead. You can't be on nothing weak. You know what I'm saying? And Shanks, Shanks wasn't even gonna do him like that, bro. And then wouldn't it like it was Ben Beckman, wasn't it, that cut off his arm the first time? Shanks wasn't even playing with him the first time, but Shanks was like, you messing with my crew? Nah, you out of here. So that's why I just think kids should have been smarter, bro. Like, or challenge Shanks directly instead of just trying to blow his fleet up, dude. That's just, it just didn't need to happen that way. Yeah, but doesn't Shanks have observation killing power or something? He does. He does have observation. I mean, that's what they say. I think we've heard that. 
Um, dude really misses his arms. <laughs> That's why he did this. <laughs> Kid was like, no, oh, I miss my arm. I'm crashing out. I'm crashing out. They took my arm. Bob Munkarooge is the new fifth emperor. Who is he? Please, God, someone explain to me who he is. I'm about to look this up. Hang on a second. Uh, that one beats talk. Mad Monk Arouge was the only supernova to beat a Yonko commander. He beat Snack. Kid ran away from a one from one of the sweet commanders, which was believed to be Snack. Capone couldn't beat Snack. Who is? Yeah, hang on. Let me bring this up. Who is Snack? Because they got a lot of weird names. I just don't even. I remember Smoothie. You know, I remember Smoothie. Why is she so thick? Snack? I've never seen this person before. Hang on. I've never... I've never seen this person before. Who is this? Who the hell? Like, you guys are telling me... So Kid ran from this? Okay, well, the slander must begin. Who is this guy? I've never seen him. He wasn't... Was he in Whole Cake Island? Did we fight him in Whole Cake Island? But Ar Aruj beat him, so I guess not. Technically the fourth commander? This is insane. I've never seen this person before a day in my life. Hang on. Potato Island. He's alive. He's got a 600 million berry bounty? Who? Dude. One Piece is hilarious. I, I could, <laughs> I literally, I'm a One Piece YouTuber. I have no idea who this is. I have never seen this person before a day in my life. This is insane. Imagine naming your kid Snack. Like, bro, only Big Mike. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Phoenix. That's what I'm saying. Big Mike. And then also your, your, your daughter's name is Smoothie. Charlotte Pudding. Wait. Oh, no. Charlotte's the last. Yeah, so just Pudding. Just pudding. This is ridiculous. He was in a flashback. I don't remember him, Deku. I truly do. Deku is a great main character fight me. I love that name so much. He's just on go. He, he shows up. Deku is a great main character fight me. That guy shows up in chat and he's just like, and I'm ready to drop all of you for what I believe in. I respect it. I love seeing that. You see him in the anime, not the manga. So then he don't exist to me, Lothar. So that means if... if, if it, it, well... Well, okay, if Kid ran away from him, but Aruj, wait a minute. Yeah, this is literally only, oh, that's supposed to be him? There's a silhouette in the manga? This is, this is crazy. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was Horty Jones, I was like, what? <laughs> Luffy's always getting one shot. Yeah, but Luffy is... I don't know how to explain it. He just, he does it better than that. That's all I'm a, like. And plus, every time Luffy gets one shot, he's not taken out of the Pirate King race. Kid got hit with that, and he was just like, yeah. I think I'm a, I guess I'll just, well, to be fair, I guess we haven't seen, he hasn't formally quit, but it's like, <laughs> Kid ran away from a non-colored character. That's what I'm saying. Hold on, I missed a, do you ever think in now, 420 Zoro says, do you ever think, do you think Anel will show up at the end? He has to, with all of the things that, like, um, Oda's put on, like, the, um, you know, the cover stories and things like that. I would say that he has to. I would say that he has to. Um, I have no idea what the relevance of him is. I have no idea who this is. This is so funny. Hang on a second. That's so funny. This is so funny. Um, but according to the relevance that Otis set up, and, I mean, he went to the moon, the moon this is one piece you know there's an island on the moon you know those idiots are gonna go to the moon you know it's coming so yeah i think anel's gonna show up i have no idea what he's gonna do because he can't fight he couldn't fight he was beaten by pre-time skip luffy before hockey yeah it was a mismatch of devil fruits but if you got hockey it doesn't matter he did not have the hockey to, to hang with luffy so i just can't imagine unless he's training on the moon and you know he's not yeah i don't see it happening Let's see, Lothar with a $5 donation. You see Snack in the anime. You don't really see him in the manga. You only see his silhouette. Sorry. Even if you beat him or if you ran from him, it's sorry. Super sorry. I just... You, you, you running away from characters that aren't even canon. Sorry. I, I, I don't know. 
Mad Monk Rouge will probably come into play if the lore and story touches on the other islands, on the other Sky Islands, or more Lunarian stuff. I'm betting Rouge is low key super powerful. Smokey says this. You know, I I don't disagree with you, Smokey. I I truly don't disagree with you. I just like, what does he? You know what? What what does he do? Like, what does he? What can he do? And 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 the boys of that One Piece talk says that he can. His power is like. Um, karma or something? What does this guy do? He's got wings. So he's from the Sky Islands, though. Is that right? He's Sky Island up. That guy just looks like he's ready to... Look at his smile. Why are you smiling like that, bro? I just think it's so funny. Oda's like, yeah, this guy loves to pound. You know, he goes to pound. <laughs> Every single picture is him smiling. This is crazy. Oda is wild. Yeah, maybe he fights. I, I, I just, I don't think that there's anything that, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, uh, you know, I don't think there's any worse generation that is, uh, that can't, f well, there's just, the worst generation has been largely <laughs> unimpressive, to be honest, besides Luffy. Uh, wait a minute. Moogie, is Jimmy Scoops on Egghead? In my canon event, uh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. Let's just get through. The next Jimmy Scoops video will be him and Big News Morgans at the tea party. I really got some cool stuff planned for Jimmy Scoops, but I don't want to spoil it. Okay, I do not want to spoil it. Let's see where Jimmy gets up to. Snack for Fifth Emperor. <laughs> Y'all want to make a, 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 a silhouette the Fifth Emperor? This is crazy. You think Cross Guild is going to hire Jimmy Scoops to get pictures of the Gorosei? That would be hilarious, but I don't think Jimmy would do it for a couple reasons. One, Jimmy Scoops does not, listen, Jimmy Scoops is a lot like Usopp, but Usopp, like, has to do brave things for his crew. Jimmy is doing brave things for pictures. He's got a limit. If you tell him to do something and he's like, I'm not going to do that, you're going to learn that when Big News Morgan's asked Jimmy Scoops to go to Wano, Jimmy Scoops is going to be like, uh, I, no, no, you want me to go up a waterfall to a country that's been sealed off for years. The only thing we know about them is that they're samurais, like like strong, high-level fighters. You want me to go over there, travel up a waterfall to get there. And then also, by the way, did we mention that Kaido is also there? Absolutely not. Get your own pictures, Morgan. You know, so I don't, I don't see Jimmy being there. I'm curious as to where the last road Poneglyph is, like the hint was so vague. It was vague. I don't think they know. I don't think anyone knows just yet. Smokey with another $20. Smokey, what do you do, bro? You must, you got too, <laughs> so much paper. I, I, listen, man, hey, I ain't pocket watching. I ain't hating. I love it. The theory back in the day is Arouge worked for Anel when he quit picking up the Mad Fallen Monk title. Oh, so like he, you, ooh, so he was one of Anel's like priests or whatever? And then like he was just like, all right, this is stupid because this guy doesn't actually know how to fight. <laughs> Arouge worked for Anel, but then he got hockey and he was like, this, this guy's... Slim Shady's kind of weak over here. I don't know. He, he don't know any type of hockey. He just he just thinks he's cold because he's got lightning and he can... He doesn't even really have observation hockey. He's just got like half observation hockey. He can hear people say stuff. He can't really do anything else with that shit. I love Jimmy Scoops so much. Uh, Deku is a great main character. Fight me. I love Jimmy Scoops so much. I'm actually going to subtitle your videos in my native language just so I can show... It to my dad who doesn't speak English. I love that. Thank you so much. I love that he's a he's a character that so many people warm up to, and um, I want him in. I mean, to to me, he's, you know, he is in One Piece. He is canon, and I plan to bring him to life. I love that so much that so many people like from all around the world like. That's just awesome. I would have never thought, honestly. So cool. And where C prison is, Sabo enabled him to escape safely. Who, bro, was hiding behind the other pillar with Sabo at the reverie? <laughs> what if Jimmy's? Oh, oh no! Again, I don't want to. I don't want to give it away, dude. I, guys, like I'm like still like writing it, but I have like the outline of where Jimmy Scoops is in relation to Big News Morgan and Stussy. Obviously, he was on Big. Obviously, he was in Whole Cake Island with Big News Morgans and uh, Stussy, and from there, like. Like, I've outlined it, and I know where Jimmy Scoops is. I just haven't gotten, like, literally everything that he's doing. So uh, there's so much I want to say. I just, maybe that's the video that I should start working on instead of Long Ring Long Land. 
Um, yeah, people saw that the challenge entrances for the priest looked like one might have been destroyed, like he was... Like he... I'm sorry, I can't read. Yeah, people saw that the challenge entrances... Brandon King. Yeah, people saw that the challenge entrances for the priest looked like one might have been destroyed, like he was one and chose to leave. It may or may not be foreshadowing. Ooh, really? I did not know that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mac with a $20 donation. We need to see more of the other straw hats in the main story. Frankie used to be the leader of the criminal underground in a major shipping city. Why do we not see him use those connections to or torture people for information? Torture people? I don't know if I'd want... I don't know if I want my Frankie to do that. But I agree with you, Mackerel. I definitely agree with you. And you know what? To be fair, you're right. He he did used to be the boss of an underground, like, syndicate. Like, he should have some type of underhanded, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. There's, like, a lot of stuff. I, I read that more as, like, um he was, like, he just wanted, like, a found family, basically. Like, what the Straw Hats are for him. And he was the leader of that found family because of his natural charisma. But truthfully, like, he had other dreams and stuff like that. It's kind of like a sad, like, you know, you don't really go after what you really want. So you settle for being the king of, like, a, you know, like Mihawk said, like, the frog, the king, king frog in a well, basically. Or, like, you're a big frog in, in a small pond, basically. And, um, you know, he's the king there. And, you know, he never really wanted to leave until, you know, some crackhead showed up and he was like, but don't you want to travel the world and build a big ass boat with me? And Frankie was like, yeah, I do. So that's how I read it. So I don't really necessarily consider it like a flaw on, on his character or the story going forward. But but you're right. We definitely need to see more shenanigans with the Straw Hats. Uh, Mario with a donation of 100. What is DOP? I think this is where... I started like so like it maybe the transfer rate maybe this is 15 cents but again I don't you know doesn't matter I just remember somebody got me good it was like a big donation and I was like thank you so much I was doing I was saying like all of this and I was like and then I checked and it was like 15 cents which again still very grateful for the nickels that you would scrounge scrounge together to make that it's just um it's just funny so I'm like always on edge whenever I see that but um Thank you so much for the donation. Aru saw lightning once and shat his pants. Yeah, he probably did. He truly probably did. Well, no, I think, I don't know. I think if Aru, for Aru to matter in the story now, he has to be able to beat up Anel. I don't think I'm going to respect him if he can't. So I think what's more likely is that Aru learned hockey and then Anel was like, yeah, you, you got to go, man. You're too strong. You're making me look bad. You know what I'm saying? I just like, you know, you feel me? So... Let's see. You think Emu will use the Mother Flame on Punk Records? Pajama Cam, thank you for the $5 donations. Do I think Emu will use the Mother Flame on Punk Records? He should have, honestly, he should have. I don't know why he didn't start off with that. Why are all of these old people on Egghead Island if you can delete an island from the world? I think that there's, um, I can't remember if it's a theory or if it's, I'm pretty sure this is a theory. Like, the theory that Vegapunk has some type of, like, defense system for the island because he knows about the Mother Flame, and he knows that the government can do that because as soon as Alucia was erased, they sent Lucci to go get rid of Vegapunk. So I feel like there's got to be some type of correlation there. I don't know that, like, um, I don't know if they, like... Basically, I think that they can't. I don't think that they're able to for some reason, but maybe not. Uh, we'll see. I definitely think if they can, they should have already. And if that's an option, that we will definitely be seeing that. Um, Phoenix Rising. All I'm saying is that the way Egghead is going, Egghead is hilarious, is probably going to be the best video in the series. It is going to be really funny. I mean, we got a bunch of perspectives we're going to be looking through. Mario, Dominican Peso. So that's what DOP means. Well, that's all good. That's all good. Again, I'm not, I, I really, I truly do not want to seem ungrateful. I just think that it's so funny that, um, I don't know if that was you last time that did that, but somebody did it and I was like, yeah. And then it was, it was like 15 cents. It was just so funny. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Lucia was chosen because it was close to Mary Joy. Oh, is that why? Well then, Okay. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. I don't remember that. But again, why... Does anybody remember why they chose to execute uh, Vegapunk? I know that one of the Gorosei members said that it was because um, he was 
looking into the void century, right? What it, did anything happen that like completely like made them go there? I know that we probably didn't, you know, they may not have showed it to us yet, the specifics, but did we get any more information on that? I'm just really curious, like why? Because this is all shaping up to be like a huge, like a huge kerfuffle for the world government. Like, oh my God, dude. The mother flames out of cola. <laughs> Emu's going to go load up the mother flame, and it's like, ah, oh, we're out of cola. <laughs> uh, Rash, they actually can't use it because Frankie brought up the entire world supply of cola. That would be so funny. Uh, Ruckus790, welcome to the Moogie Goof Grand Fleet. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, York snitched. She did. York, yeah, I guess we should talk about York. Hang on. I mean, we don't have to talk about York, honestly. She, 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 she snitched. I mean, there's not... I don't, there's not really, what do we have, what else do we have to say about, uh, about York? I don't have anything else to say about her. <clears throat> Let's see. It was because he was looking into the void century because he was trying to find a way to replicate the iron giant's energy and York snitched. Oh, that's right. That's what, that's, so that's why you guys are saying York snitched. That's why they, okay. 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 I get it now. I get it now. Um, damn, it was really all just because of York? I thought it was going to be, like, a significant, like, why she a hoe like that? That's crazy. She just hoed, like, you know, you, you a real type of, you you are really hoeing if you hoe yourself. That's crazy. Like, if I, <laughs> like, can't even trust yourself nowadays. That is crazy. Korax, I'm looking forward to The Reverie is Hilarious. Oh, boy, me too. I got to get the next Jimmy Scoops video out. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything. But, yes, that is 100. The Reverie, yes, The Reverie is, is so funny. It is going to be funny. Let's see. Smokey, next one piece is hilarious. Random pirate on Hachinoso looks up and sees Grandpa Crackhead yelling on a flying ship. Give me back, Koba, you pirate turds. That's going to be really, really funny. I guess I would have to put that into Egghead Island is hilarious. Because, yeah, unless they... Yeah, I, I guess... I No, I don't know. I guess that's got to be its own video. Because, like, there's no way to, like, fit that into, like, a narrative. Maybe I can think of something. But I'm absolutely talking about it. Like, like I'm milking this. Like, One Piece is so funny. And because of the way that I write scripts and things like that, dude, like, I'm just so grateful that One Piece has so much content for me personally. Because genuinely, if I didn't feel inspired or motivated to make the content, I swear to God, I just wouldn't do it. Like, it just would not happen. But One Piece is such an amazing story. And other stories, too. Like, I'm excited to get into, like, as soon as the strike is done, we're going to get back to Kakashi being hilarious. We just got one more month, and then... We're going to drop that again and get back to Kakashi's Hilarious. Bleach is surprisingly way more funny than I gave it credit for, too, also. But I just am so grateful. One Piece especially, dude. There's just, for one, there's endless content, it, it seems like. He was in the video games? Hold on a second. There's endless content for One Piece. And, like, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for it constantly inspiring me to just be funny, be my goofy self. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. I think Pythag Pythagoras is a stud. Which one is Pythagoras? Is... Mario, you... <laughs> Mario be wild in here sometimes. Rate the Vegapunks in order of hotness. Oh, well. Uh, Y'all are gonna get me... Ah, yeah. I might go with York. I don't know. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I maybe go with York. Maybe. I don't know. Don't don't fight me. I don't know. Um, and then have you done Long Ring Longland? It's hilarious because if not, that's another video. Oh yeah, dude. No, the, all of the arcs are getting done. And some of them more than once, so don't worry about that. It's just like I said, just you know, we, we gotta the artist must be inspired. What I'm working on now is Long Ring Long Land, though, so get uh, get ready for that. Wano is hilarious, will be hilarious. Yes, thank you, Hakeen McNutt. Hakeen McNutt. You guys are wilding. That name is hilarious. 
Razvan Antonescu Goofy. What's up, Razvan? Um, I feel like I'm missing some. This is what I don't like. Like, I got to get better at, like, reading and talking so that I don't miss more. So I'm sorry if I'm missing some of these from you guys. Whoa, Frankie, sorry I'm in and out of chat. I'm at a bar and hanging with a bunch of people. Frankie, you live your life, Frankie. You know what I'm saying? That's a You are a, a person after my own heart. I'm pretty sure I was about to say a, a, a woman after my own heart. I feel like, didn't somebody say that someone told me that, that you, you were a woman? I didn't want to get that wrong and like misgender you. Because whenever, like people, some people misgender my, Yamato and then people get angry. Um... <laughs> but I, you are a person after my own heart. I wish I was at a bar. I wish I was out there with you and we were pounding drinks back. Ha -da -da -da. <laughs> nah, I'd win is just such a funny, like, just out of context. It's so funny knowing what Jujutsu Kaisen did to that. Like, Luffy, if you had to fight all the girls, say, at full power, would you lose? Nah, I'd win. Honestly, he work he working on them right now. I don't even know, Phoenix, if that's a joke. He's he's working on them right now. I truly... Hang on, let's look up the girls, say. These dusty bastards. Uh, girls, say. Five elders. Yeah, so, okay, so, this guy, the swordsman dude, bro, he's gonna be nice, and maybe, maybe I'm just projecting, because I'm a swordsman at heart, you know what I'm saying, but I feel like he's gonna be a problem, I, look at how he's hunched over like that, look at Saint Saturn, look at this, can I, god, I wish I could zoom in, oh my god, please let me zoom in. Oh my god, look at him. Look how he's scrunched in. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Fuck off. There we go. Look how he... Ooh. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a child. Look how dumb he looks, though. Look at this, like... How do you zoom in? I'm so dumb. Uh, ooh. I just wanted to... I was just being childish. He's not scaring me, is what I wanted to say. And this guy, the tall dude, that mustache... Li literally none of them scare me. Like, everybody's talking about how Gear 5 ruins, like, One Piece because of, like... The tension, like the girls say we're supposed to be like, you know, supposed to be like elite, top level people. And it's like, look at these decrepit old bastards. No, they weren't. And if they were, listen, Oda's cooking. L give it a rest and let Oda cook. You know, would you? Lothar, flashbacks are hilarious. They are. Thank you for the $5 donation. Uh, well, th we can make them funny. But sometimes they aren't typically funny, actually. I would say off principle they can't be, to be, <laughs> to be honest. What do you think the last ancient weapon is? And apparently there's this slight deduction that because of the Elder Stars, ancient weapons and Nika representing the planets and the sun, Emu is Earth. I have no idea. I have seen a lot of those theories, though. I have seen a lot of those theories. Um, the last ancient weapon, isn't the last, what is the last one that we have to find? We find, we know where Pluton is, we don't know anything about Uranus, there's like that weird giant egg, which I don't know if that's an ancient weapon or not, but I remember seeing that ancient, that, that big ass egg. Love you, Goofy, gotta head out. Nelly, bye, see you, thank you for being here, thank you. Good luck with streaming. Thank you for being here. Seriously, I was scared my chat didn't work for a second. But thank you so much for being here. Get out there and have a great time. I'm just trying to help us get through this break week. We're going to talk about One Piece. We're going to talk about our theories, and, and we're going we're gonna to get to it. Let's see. I'm glad Gear 5 is goofy because it makes these tense scenes fun. That's what I'm saying, Super Duper 808 You know, like, let Oda cook. I don't think it's ruining any of the tension at all. Like, if you see Super Saiyan Bugs Bunny working on some old men, like, I, listen... First of all, th those are the Looney Tunes that I would wake up every Saturday morning to see. I'm here for it every time. So, 
I got to go too. Well, see you, Sabo. Thank you for stopping by. Um, thank you, guys. Like I said, this is... I, I want to do this every week at least because at least until the, uh, you know, little chapters come back because this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. You know, this break. Uranus is the one we need to know about. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Acid pants. He has old man back. He does. Tall man is just the butler of the girl. Oh, he is just the butler. That's the joke that I, yeah, that I, I, I knew there was a joke there. I was like, God, I just, I do. You look like somebody. He look at him. He's got his hands behind his back. Do you need any more tea, sir? And yeah, he's got old man back. His neck is protruding outward. Like anytime you see somebody hunched over like that with their neck sticking out like this, that's an old ass man. Obviously, this guy with the hair that's not white, this guy, he's got like, it looks like a little bit blonde. He's obviously the Justin Timberlake of the group, like just ooze, the Pete Wentz of the Gorosei. He's just oozing raw sex appeal out of these old men. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely the only one that could still pull, I would say. Um, let's see. Mm. Poseidon is the ancient weapon you're thinking of, and it's Shirahoshi. Yeah. Remember that now. Which is crazy. That crying mermaid <laughs> is an ancient weapon. Deku is a great main character. Fight me. says, yesterday my dad saw Gear 5 for the first time, and I was more than glad to explain to him why it's the greatest thing ever. That's, and you are doing Oda's work. I, you know, I agree. Gear 5 just, like, God, it just does so many things, like, it's awesome, man. It's so cool. Like, we're used to these transformations being, like, Super Saiyan-esque. And even though Gear 5 is kind of reminiscent of Super Saiyan, it's also unlike anything we've ever seen. And I love it. And I, I love when people just, like... One thing, I don't think you should have to defend it. I wish we could just ignore them. But for the same reason that I, I, I think we should talk about, you know, The Last Jedi being the worst Star Wars movie ever, is that people, like, would, like see justifications for why gear five is bad and just run with it because people like only look on the surface and even on the surface there's nothing there but sometimes people see whatever they want to see and you know it's important to talk about it and defend the things that we know are great and you know whatever i don't know why i'm preaching i'm just a goofy guy anytime you know what i love about being a youtuber that's not like a serious youtuber I listen like if I ever get on here and start talking to you guys about how to fix your life or, or about what politics you should be into click off that is not me first of all before you click off and stop watching the stream that's not me okay that I've been replaced okay but I'm either a robot or somebody I do not listen if you are a content creator even sometimes the people that are specifically like like their content is specifically like political or like information based there's a there's certain things that you know just maybe you know you you are not the authority that people should listen to you shouldn't be advertising yourself as a role model i will never try to be that if i ever do and if i ever present myself as like you know i actually know a lot about this that's not me <laughs> that's not me you need to click away goofy has been replaced by a robot it's the ants gear five is the super saiyan ants of weed yeah it is it's the ants shrimp are saying the middle guy had a bold mustache. He, ooh, that is a bold ass mustache. That's a white beard ass mustache. No, 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 no. Do you think the Blackbeard Pirates will use Caribou to steal all of punk records in a Gru level heist? Ooh. Listen, I love a good heist. I love a good heist, guys. I, d I don't love the Blackbeard politics. Uh, uh, the Blackbeard Pirates, my bad. I don't, I don't love the Blackbeard Pirates, um, but they are entertaining to watch. And, um,. I don't know, it's difficult. <laughs> That's why my favorite One Piece movie is One Piece Film Gold. So, Jimmy! What's up? Yeah, Jimmy, seriously. Noted. Like, I don't know if what you're saying that to. If you're saying that to um, me being replaced, seriously. If I ever start getting on here like, I just think y'all should know my views on... I, I'm. Not, it's not me, dude. <laughs> that is not me. In the stream and come to my house and figure out what's going on. That is not me. Everybody say what's up, Jimmy, a very good friend that helped make all of this possible and the best person. And also, everybody go over to Jimmy's YouTube um, page and subscribe. Like his video, subscribe. He's a part of the Moogie Goof Pirates. He's my Zoro, actually. So, like, if you don't go subscribe to him, then, like, you, do you even like us is what I'm saying? He's the only reason 
that I'm that I'm able to do any of this. He's got my back while everybody else has just been looking at me this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Goofy, I love your new PFP. Well, thank Jim. <laughs> Miranda got me this PFP. All my friends are wonderful, and I love them so much. But you can thank Jim for pretty much all of this, to be honest. Mm, I love Fem Gold because it gives us some of the only Luffy, Frankie, one-on-one -on -one time. Bro, when Luffy and Frankie break into that vault... <laughs> and the, Luffy's got like the thumbs up and then like the alarm starts going off after that dude peak peak one piece so funny always with the black beard politics <laughs> such a Freudian sloop salutations Jimothy void month begins I'll be there for my captain always Jim always Jim, are you live? Are you are you about to be streaming? Are you about to get on a game? I'm about to. Uh, uh, I was gonna be guys. If you if you're on like the Patreon, I I'm doing a poll for what game that I should stream because I love I love gaming and I love streaming. But I want to do like a. In addition to whenever all of us like play together, I want to like pick like a single player game playthrough. Hang on, let's find out. Let's go to the Patreon. Um. Yeah, so we got Elden Ring, Sekiro, Ghost of Tsushima, and Rise of Ronin. So, or other, basically. So, like, I don't know. Like, I haven't played Rise of Ronin. I love Ghost of Tsushima, obviously. Sekiro, I've played, warming up to it. Elden Ring, I'm terrified of. So, I don't know. It's free on my Patreon uh, or no, this is the Council of Goof one, my bad. The free one is, what do you guys want to see more of, the live streams or the podcast with the crew? So, um, you know, feel free to, you know, cast your votes in that free one. Continuing Chapter 12 and Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth tonight. Who? Jim, Jim, Jim. I am on chapter... Guys, can I talk about... Before I before I get to that, Jim. Guys, can I talk about how I have just been wanting to play Final Fantasy? Like, Jim has had the, like, privilege... Like, he streams it, and, like, I started it, bef like, while I wasn't streaming, so I didn't feel right, like, streaming it. And, like, all I've wanted to do, all I have wanted to do is play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And to the point where even before I wrote and made the Bleach video, that's all I wanted to do. So that became Ichigo's whole character. Like, I just, I do not care. I just want to go home and play Final Fantasy. I think right now I'm on Chapter 8. Like, I just made it to, I don't know. I just made it out of Costa del Sol. Well, no. Yeah, Costa del, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. I just made it out of all that shenanigans. I am so looking forward to get back into that. Um, so yeah, Jimmy, oh boy, lol, I will join you for Elden Ring, we can clap some bosses, please, please, because I, we played it yesterday, Jim, and I literally just rage quit, and that's why I was like, that's why I asked you, like, how can I, like, stream without my face being visible, I don't want people to see me like that, dude, I'm supposed to be goofy, I'm supposed to be a beacon of, like, zen and optimism, not when I play Elden Ring, I'm, ooh, ooh, I'm getting pissed just thinking about it, thinking about it, good god. Yeah, Coral is where I'm going to now, and I am, I'm excited. So as soon as soon as this stream's over, hopefully I can, I can get to that Final Fantasy VII. Ladies on the beach. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good chapter, Arash. That was a good chapter. That was a good chapter. You know, I liked that. You know what I'm saying? I uh, appreciate that so much, Jim. Appreciate that so much. I mean, honestly, have you? Or oh, you said you're gonna be on at like eight. If I'm still on, then definitely. I mean, if nothing else, just like we'll join, like start like a Discord call or something. Let's see. I'm also playing Elden Ring right now. Absolutely cannot get past Malekith. That's the thing, guys. I beat Elden Ring completely. Like, I beat Melania. I beat everybody. And now we're playing it on PC, so I can't transfer my character. My, like, level 290 character. Like, I hate it. I hate it. I hate all of it. I, I, I hate all of it, and now I'm starting, like, literally from scratch, and it's like, and the DLC is coming out, so everybody who's ever, like, taken pride in Elden Ring, like, they, like, the, we have to beat this, this DLC, so it's like, I'm training again, but I have to, like, start completely over, so no, dude, I'm cheating. To be honest, when I first played, I cheated, um, I, I cheated the whole time. 
and no shame there because the bosses cheat okay so i cheated well, we're gonna cheat the same time so jim jim's gonna get in my game ken uh nate's gonna get in my game they are going to fight the bosses i swear to god i will download the seamless co-op mod and i will do nothing until i am of uh, of like a good like solid level but it also depends on what the Council of Goof says. If they don't vote on Elden Ring, then maybe that'll be just one-off goofy streams that we do. But I do. I am starting a, a, a single-player playthrough on, in the Council of Goof, and so people can just kind of, like, you know, choose that. But, yeah, Elden Ring training arc. Yeah, Lancaster, that's, that's literally what it is. I wish that was originally what I was going to do today, and I was dreading it. I was like, I do not want to play Elden Ring. But then I was like, oh, you know, it's, it's Thursday today. Maybe we could just talk about One Piece. You know, I, I literally got out of it. I literally got out of it. I was literally thinking like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? I was about to play piano for you guys for like, <laughs> rather than play Elden Ring. I was like, I, I, I don't know. I do not want to play Elden Ring. Good God. It would be a blast, Jim. We are definitely going to like, oh, it's going to be amazing. I play with the seamless co-op mod with my sister and both of us are ass at that game. And listen, acid pants. Um samesies and that is what we will be doing what does a seamless co-op mod do exactly that makes it better can you still get invaded because i hate invaders more than anything in that game like my god just don't kill the turtle movie i don't kill um uh, what turtle are you talking about actually before i <laughs> before i i i don't like obviously no one i you know i, I you know i I don't hurt animals in games or in real life, but what turtle are you talking about? Is Because if, if it's a turtle that has something coming, I don't know. I don't know. If he started it, that's all I'm going to say. You can play piano? Uh, Why, well, yes, I can. I can tittle the keys, you know what I mean? Only a, only a teeny bit, though. I'm not that good. You guys want to hear me play piano? I've had a, I've had, I've had a couple. Maybe, you know, I don't care. I don't care. Muriel the Turtle Pope. The what? <laughs> it's a turtle that's in Lerunia. It's an NPC that has a Pope hat. And I won't fight him. I swear I won't fight him. Yes, play the piano, please. Do you guys really want to want me to play piano? That has nothing. Play us some music. Is that really? I see Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix, you're showing out for this chat. I, I love you, Phoenix. All right. Well, let me hmm. hang on, actually, because I have to pee and get another drink. Let me see. Play some music, Mr. Goofy. All right. Well, I guess. Sure, we can do that. I don't play piano, but I produce beats. Hey, that caster. Hey, all right, let's go. Oh boy, LOL, I knew it. All right, we can do this. Oh no. Dude, it's so, like, that was so, like, gonna be, like, detrimental to, like, I almost pulled the Wi-Fi out of the wall. Good God. Hang on, let's see if... Ooh. Okay. Are we still here? Oh, thank God. And have Final Fantasy VII behind, yeah. Can you do Binks Sasaki? I can maybe?
I'm still just so like, are we still live? I'm still so like, okay, good. Okay. I still like, <laughs> I'm so like, it's like, did I pull the Wi-Fi out of the wall? And then I don't know. Can you guys hear that? Or is it too far? Is it too far? Or can you guys hear that? Sweet. Move your mic. Where should I move my mic, Jim? Like there, or where should I move it? Hmm. I feel like. Hang on. What about now? What if I just like play? Angle it toward the keyboard. Ooh. What about what about now? Yeah, it's kind of hard to aim it like. <laughs> My thing is, my trouble is, it's like right, like where the Wi-Fi is. So the more I move it, the danger, the more dangerous it gets to just like ending this stream like harsher. Oh, but that's better. That's better. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Cool. This is so dangerous. Good God. Danger zone. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Or am I? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I play, I play, I play a wee, I play a wee bit of here. I don't know. some skill you got there no i just it's just like i literally like i literally just smash all of the black keys together literally damn that's pretty good you should make your own outros for it i want to do that i just don't know how to like you're a kingdom hearts fan of course of course, that's why I'm saying I don't want to do that. What I want to learn is Gion's theme, which I think is... Oh. 
What key is that song in? Hang on. This is going off the rails, guys. Sorry. Now I done. I done got the itch. I done got the itch. What key is that song in? Hang on. I done got the itch. I done got the itch. Bum 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 bum. Zion's thing. I just need. Whenever heartburn strikes, get fast relief with Tums. So, but you know what else I want to learn is Twilight is is a Twilight Town. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, that's crazy. Ooh, wait a minute. But um, I want to learn so much. Like, We Are is definitely on my list of stuff. I want to learn Binks' Sake, too. But, like, it really is just, like, my hands know, like, literally everything. Like, I'm not really, like... It took me, like, such a long time to, like, actually call myself a musician because, like, I literally, like... Like, a, a lot of times there is effort, but, like, a lot of times it's literally just, like, like crazy, you know? Like, but I love, like, doing, like, crazy stuff. Like, if there's ever, like, a piano, like, in public, like, I love to do, like, this, this shit is gonna fall. It really is. Hang on. Maybe not. I love to do stuff that just, like, I love doing stuff that, like, makes people, like, just, like, like, imagine you're at, like, like, you're just at the mall, and then, like, the girl that this is like, it was the best date ever, but then she gets a phone call and then she has to go. You don't really know why or what that is, but now you're sitting on a bench waiting for your ride to come pick you up. You're like 14, by the way. Hot Topic is in the mall, and this may or may not has actually uh, happened to me before. it is it was like this really sad thing that i wrote i'm trying to remember what it is um
I just get carried away with that, but... That's secretly, secretly, that's like literally like what, like I love, I love doing. Like it's like one of the, me either, Jim, me either. But um, I know more stuff. I feel like I'm just like muscle memory at its finest. Legitimately, like it's literally, I know other stuff, but like I just like, ooh, yeah, I truly do know other stuff, but I, when I'm on the spot, I'm just like, uh. Serenading, I guess, would be music. Music is very serenading. Honestly, I could go to sleep listening to this. Yeah, we made like a whole sleep album. Wasn't expecting this. Neither was I. I was gonna do this instead of play Elden Ring. I I feel like I know like. same key i feel like there was more piano was such a beautiful instrument i get you it really is there's like so i feel like i definitely knew more but i can't remember I'll be, I'll be lost in this for whatever. From comedy to theories to music, you truly are wise. I don't know. I feel like I'm selling because I know like actual songs instead of just like goofing. I shouldn't have drank that IPA because I'm just like, ah, ah. But like you don't play for a single week and you you, you rusty as fuck. It's actually crazy. Uh, nah, but like you don't play for a single week. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how playing piano go goes. I'm always out here crafting a soundtrack. What is the goofiest song you can play? Ooh, that's actually reminded me of something. Oh, wait a minute. I have to remember, though. Oh, hang on. Does anyone know that? Dude, hang on. I'm going to lose. If anyone in the chat knows this song before I keep going. I'm remembering how to play it now, but if anyone knows this song. Oh, my God. Hang on.
it is from La La Land. Hey, who is this? Sham Whoa, yeah, that's from La La Land. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I forgot what it is called. Um, another day of sun. It's another day of sun. Oh my gosh. That's probably like what I consider to be the goofiest song that I know. But I sure I know another one that's goofy as hell though. Oh, that's from La La Land, right? It is. It is. I know how it feels to be put on the spot, but you're a talented guy. I love Yoko Shinomoto's Kingdom Hearts OST. She's the GOAT. Pajama Cam, yeah! Thank you for the $5 donation. And you guessed that it's from La La Land. See, this is what, this is probably what I should have, you know, more like-minded, like, like, uh, well, not like-minded, just people who appreciate, like, this type of thing. Yeah, I'm gonna appreciate that. Thank you for allowing me to self-indulge, but, um... Yeah, I love piano. I love playing guitar, and I love piano. Piano. I love playing piano more than playing guitar, but I would say guitar is probably more fun. Um, but piano's like, like my soul is like tethered to piano. Um, but yeah, that's the song from La La Land, Another Day of Sun. I'm trying to think of another goofy one. I should learn more anime OSTs. I don't know, I feel so bad, like, being put on the spot. Like, I literally cannot think of anything else that I know, but I swear I know things. But I, I guess, I mean, I don't know, I'm not trying to... I shouldn't, you know, shouldn't be trying to imp impress everybody here. I'm really just more impressed that people got that that was from La La Land. How do you think One Piece will end? I think that One Piece is going to end in a very heartfelt and funny way. I think no matter what happens, it is going to be the saddest thing ever. I think that literally no matter what happens, it's going to be the saddest thing ever. Not necessarily sad because of what Oda does or, or chooses to like uh, to happen, but um, just because like that's going to be the end of so many like 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 uh, times of our lives like an era like when one piece is over so no matter what happens even if it ends with luffy picking his nose is gonna be the saddest panel i've ever seen i won't be able to handle it either phoenix lancaster you good at freestyling like with a musical instrument or like rapping because no I, I truly cannot rap my brain doesn't work fast enough to talk most of the time all of the th all of the videos you guys watch it's just me like that script is heavily like i practice the script going over and over again my brain is so adhd like if i tried to rap i'd just get so distracted it just would not work <laughs> Only Oda can make uh, can make it so sad and so happy at the same time. That's what I'm saying. I agree. By Jack Black. Peaches by Jack Black. That would be funny. I don't know how to play that. I should learn how to play that. Mm, instrument, yes. Yeah, that's, that's literally what I've been doing. Like I've just been like goofing around in uh, E flat minor or F sharp major. Same thing. Literally the same thing. Um, yeah, that's literally all. That's what all of that was. I just... Um, so yeah, that's what I've been freestyling. Just think how sad the last one Binks is sake would be. Well, hang on. <laughs> so yeah, I, like my, my, my hand was like, hey, you know that song. Like apparently I learned it. I don't know. What is it? Damn. What would the bass notes of that be, though? Whatever, I'm gonna learn that later. Anyway, uh, let's see, you're the next Brooke. I would love to be. 
Um, where did you read it? Do it with Don. What does that mean? There is going to be a hacky One Piece Shaputin about Luffy and Hancock's son. You stop, Ruckus790. Don't you wish that into existence? I I don't think Oda would let that happen. I gotta pray to God Oda wouldn't let that happen. And you know what? We would watch it. The thing about it is, man, like, as so long as Oda's in charge of, of One Piece, I believe he's not gonna let things get too out of control with the story. But if anybody else gets their hands on it, dude, dude, like, they're gonna make a Boruto for One Piece. That's gonna happen. That's just, that's just gonna happen for sure. That's definitely gonna happen. And, um, because it's just money. They know we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it, all right? We watch Boruto until we realize, like, wow, so literally, actually nothing's happening. Like, literally. I don't know what's happening in that manga, but in the anime, they are not doing anything. And why is Orochimaru still not in prison? That's ridiculous. Oda is done after this, Phoenix? I, I hope. Oda deserves the rest, and I think he would be. I just... You know, capitalism's evil, man. And also, the Japanese... I feel like the Japan and the Japanese government and just, like, the Japanese citizens, they are all so invested in One Piece. More than we are over here, a lot of them are. Um, like, One Piece is such a cultural icon over there. I, you know, I don't think they would make him do anything, but at the same time, if something were to come up and they, they are presented with the option for more One Piece, I really think they'd be like, send it. <laughs> send it. Luffy and Hancock have a son? Perfect. Let's write, write that story. We will buy every single manga. The only One Piece Boruto I'd watch would be a Chopper spinoff. Same. Samesies, samesies, samesies. Well, no, I, I, I'd watch all of them. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to lie to you guys. I'd watch all of them. But, yeah, you know. God, that felt great. You know, see, what if, well, what if I was playing Elden Ring right now? You see what I'm saying, guys? What, was it, wasn't this boy better than me suffering on Elden Ring? Please don't vote for that in the poll. <laughs> Please don't vote for Elden Ring. Um... How is it? No, no, the Japanese government isn't involved in the in the One Piece, like, uh, with One Piece. I'm just saying, like, it's such a big thing in Japan. I think that it's big enough that the Japanese government would be like, all right, Oda, keep writing. Like, it's a joke. I, they're not really involved. <laughs> keep writing, Oda. <laughs> yeah. Prequel with Roger's crew? I would love that. I would love that. I would love that. Give me Chopper and Frankie buddy cop duo. No, that just needs to be, we just need an arc. We don't need a spin off of that. This is what Oda needs. This is what, well, not what Oda needs to do. This is what the anime fillers need to be in between these colossal arcs so that the pacing can be better. Just send them, s send them to Buddy Cop Island and it's Chopper and Frankie. You put any two straw hats together, we're watching it. I don't know why they don't do that. Like, why do we have to just keep, why are we an egghead right now, dude? Why are we an egghead? They, we needed so many more fillers. Yeah, like the Japanese government is just like the Japanese government are help writing One Piece. He's like, "What do you think about this?" Like there's, there's officials in the room where Oda's like writing it, and they're just like, "Yeah, I think you should make Frankie's shoulders look like this post time skip." And Oda's like, "No," and the Japanese government's like, "I, you know, all right, you want, you want to stay a millionaire? You make his shoulders blocky and stupid." <laughs> Yeah, you could write, Ruckus, you could write so many stories about so many One Piece characters. Like, you truly, truly could. We need Kobe and Hibari, uh, SBS animated. Ooh, that would be, I don't even remember that, honestly. Like, I don't even know, like, what did Kobe and Hibari do? I don't remember that. Now nah, we don't need more Momo. We don't need more Momo. I think we got a lot of him. I agree with you there, Smokey. I would have taken more of it, like if there was a filler, but ooh, but you're right. If he was the protagonist of the filler, I don't think I'd, I think I'd be hot. I think I would heat up at that if I was like, damn it. Why are we following Momo around? I just wanted a buddy cop duo with Frankie and Chopper. <laughs> Imagine the Emperor of Japan ordering more chapters. That's what I'm saying. Like, like the, like the, like all of the Japanese officials. They're outside Oda's house. Wow, One Piece was a great series. Too bad it's over. 
is what we would be saying if we weren't ordering you to write 17 more chapters explaining your next prequel series, Oda. We want to see God Valley. And what if Oda was like, I already told you what happened in One Piece. Yeah, we want to see all of it, step by step. And, and we want the pacing of the One Piece anime. We want you to make it slow and agonizing. Get in there and keep writing, Oda. <laughs> Gun to his head, and he has to keep writing One Piece. I don't think they'd do that, but God, would that be funny. Good Lord. I want a short filler arc checking in with all the Straw Hat Allied Islands, mostly East Blue. You damn right, Henry. That's what we need. We just kind of, we didn't get an arc, obviously, but we got like panels of them reacting, I'm pretty sure, to the Egghead transmission. Yeah, 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 with Vegapunk. So we got that. I feel like we should totally stop in with them a lot more. Two-piece. I'm in the rare air. I'm in the rare air of After Bonnie No More Kids. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for sure. I think Bonnie... I do think Bonnie's going to join, just mainly, again, because where else... Where is she going to go otherwise? Like, what the hell? What is she going to do? She would be... She's a very wanted person at this point. Who else is going to protect her? Smokey says, Didn't like Tama, Momo, Otoko, none of them kids. Yeah, they... I like Tama. Um, oh, no, I liked Otoko. I, I know what you mean when you say that, though, and I think that they were kind of like, given everything that was going on, I think a lot of their personalities were kind of grating. But I, li I like Otoko, and I, I really just didn't like Momo. And even then, I, it's not like I dislike Momo, like Caribou or uh, Scratchman Apu. You know, I just, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to take him being the protagonist of a filler arc is what I mean. Thank you for the $5 donation, Lunas Amarat. Uh, been debating with my friends. Love both, but who's stronger, Zoro or Sabo? I've got Sabo. I think he defeats Akainu. I also have Sabo. Mainly because we watched Zoro have an asthma attack for like nine years fighting Rob Lucci. And listen, he wasn't taking it seriously. I know that. We know that. But still, there is just like... No, I got Sabo, too. Sabo w went face-to-face -face with all five Gorosei, and they couldn't finish him off. That is evidence of the Gorosei being sorry, and it's evidence for me. Like, Sabo's the Flame Emperor now, dude. Like, that's, like, basically the Fifth Emperor, just not a pirate. He's just that nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got I got Sabo over Zoro. Um, and really, Sabo has to be over Zoro, to be honest. End of series? I, end of series, I would still put Sabo over Zoro. To be honest, Sabo might deserve that a little bit more. I'll be honest. Like, as far as character-wise goes, I'm, I, I'll give it to Sabo, too. So, uh, Lunas, I, I agree with you. Put them kids to bed already. That's what I'm saying, Lancaster. Why we, every time there's some kids involved in the arc, I'm just like, they gotta be like... It's just Chopper's such a good... such a cool kid... You gotta, if you a kid, you gotta be, you either gotta be Bonnie or Chopper, I'll be real with you. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's others, but I, like, those are the top tier children in One Piece. Everybody else is like, you know, I don't hate you, but it's like, why, what are we doing here? Why are you still taking up screen time? I have crackpot theory that Blackbeard is gonna trade Garp to Cross Guild for an alliance. Any thoughts on that? Ooh. Ooh, Henry, if, okay, okay, let's see. Let's say that they did that. Oh my god, that's a brilliant theory. I hope to... I don't know if I hope that that doesn't happen even. I don't know. That's Because that's not out of character for anybody. Buggy would absolutely stupidly like... Well, I don't even think... I think Mihawk and Crocodile would make that decision for him. Or not for him. They would just say yes. And Blackbeard would be like... It's not something that I would be like... That's not out of character for anybody, basically. So I definitely see that happening. I don't know if I don't want it to happen. It's just there's so many people. But it would give everybody a realistic, like, reason to go up against each other. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that is there is, like, you know, if, if they join the Blackbeard Pirates, if they have an alliance, who is Luffy going to be allied with? You know what I'm saying? He's got a bunch of allied nations with him. That's true. But, like, how many of them can fight enough to, you know, be support against the Blackbeard Pirates and Cross Guild? I mean, to be fair, there's only two people in Cross Guild that can fight, so they really just need two more people to fight. To be fair. To be fair. That's true. So I see that happening. All right, I gotta go. I just arrived at work. Have a great stream. Phoenix Rising, thank you so much. Salute. And I hope you have a wonderful day at work. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, Smokey, I think Bonnie's gonna be set up to be the next Strahd for sure. Actually, with the Seraphim doing... What are the Seraphim doing on that Yeah, what are the Seraphim? Wait a minute. That's a good point. 
What are the Seraphim doing on Egghead? Deffy Cryptic, what are the Seraphim doing on Egghead? We gotta know. If the Gorosei went serious mode, they would have destroyed all of Mary Joy. Uh, you know, I want to believe you, Frost. I truly want to believe you. But them sorry, decrepit old men, I do not. I don't know. I don't know if I believe it. Gonna open up Luffy's daycare dojo and put them kids to bed one by one. <laughs> I love that joke. I was about to open up Luffy's daycare dojo in here and put the kids to bed one by one. <laughs> He's just walking around punching kids in the face. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have a story, book, TV, whatever, that touched you more than One Piece? No. Um, one Piece absolutely did it the most. I would say the only thing that has competition with One Piece is probably Star Wars for me. And given what they've turned it into, I just think it's no contest. Um, obviously, there are amazing stories that have touched me and inspired me. I would say off the, off the dome, Red Dead Redemption 2, Arthur, God rest his soul, Morgan... Um, just such a, a, such a wonderful story, dear God. Um, Kingdom Hearts was up there and too, until I got older and realized, you know, it doesn't really make sense. I still love it, but again, back to talking about like objectivity and like subjective, eh, there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't make sense. Not so much in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, of course, those two are perfect, but it's like everything after that is kind of like, oh, so what are we doing here again? <laughs> you know what I mean? And three was kind of like, oh, God, I was so pissed at three. Like, I was so pissed at three. Like, all of the gameplay mechanics and things, like, aside, like, the way where the story went and, like, how the ending went, I was so pissed. We waited 20 years for that game. That's insane. Uh, okay, let's see. I just think Crocodile wouldn't want to fork over five bill to Blackbeard. That's a good point, Henry. I don't think so either. That's a good point. I have an old man. We friends now. <laughs> I've got an old man. Can we be friends now? Sure. Chimney's also cool. The Vegapunk dies. Does his apple antenna turn into a devil fruit? Ooh. What the hell is that thing? That's a good question, but what is that? Seraphim are in bubbles. Ah, okay, cool. So that's what we're doing. The crew has 11 members, though. Vivi. Ooh. Vivi needs to rejoin us immediately. Dude, everybody is going to cry when they see Vivi. Me included. Everybody's crying when they see Vivi. And then, like, the people that don't know who Vivi is, like Frankie and Brooke and everybody, they're going to be like, uh, they're going to be crying too. I'm going to predict this gag right now, okay? Living up to the title of this video. I predict that when we finally meet up with Vivi, all of the Straw Hats that know her are going to cry. Sanji will do his hard eyes and just be really happy to see Vivi. All of the other Straw Hats are going to be crying, obviously, except for Zoro. But Frankie and Brooke, you know, the Straw Hats that haven't met Vivi before, they are going to uh, be crying too. But just because it's like, oh, I just, I just feel like we should be crying. I predict that right now. I believe that is the gag that Oda's going to do. Because Frankie just in general will be crying. And Brooke's so silly and so stupid. Like, I could see him doing that gag. Uh, let's see. Put him to bed, damn it. I think Sword helps versus the Blackbeard Pirates because we are one person short versus them. Kobe will face Kuzan. Ooh. Might be too soon for Kobe to beat an admiral, though. It's definitely too soon for Kobe to beat Kuzan, but Kuzan is too divided. He's 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 got like he's not centered. He's not he's not at one with himself, and he doesn't have balance within the force. So I see him maybe even throwing that fight, but I agree they should throw hands in the future. You're telling me the super cyborg children got bagged by bubbles? That's wild. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what I don't know what them seraphim are doing. Vivi, Vivi meeting up with Robin is going to be crazy, Cozy. That's going to be crazy, but I live to see it. I absolutely love it. Man, I've been stuck on the phone. Start over. <laughs> Gareem Barnes donated two nautos and said, Man, I've been stuck on the phone. Start over. I don't know from where. I mean, we can... I don't know. I'm sad I missed this shit. Hey, man, I mean, I won't I won't unlist this one. Uh, you, can all, you can go back and watch it. I mean, you can... Uh, maybe I'll try to put timestamps on it, but... You know, Gray Me, is that how you pronounce it? Gray Me Barnes? No, no, no worries, brother. No worries. I appreciate you stopping by. I, I truly could not start over from the beginning of the stream, though. That is, that's that's wild. I have no idea. But you'll be able to watch it after this. No worries. No worries. Um, 
How is Vivi going to react when she sees Robin? Yeah, I, I want to know too. I think she's going to be in good. I think she's going to be like apprehensive at first. But I really, I don't see them spending too much time on that gag. Um, your passion and appreciation for these One Piece gags needs to be studied. I I love them. They are the, One Piece to me is just like, it is funny. It's a very, very, very passionate, well-written, amazing, heartfelt story with top-tier comedy. Like, when you get to, like, when it comes to, like, ooh, Def E, Cryptic, welcome to the Moogie Goof Grand Fleet, baby! Um, but when it, when you, when you are talking about anime that's not, like, you know, like, prison school or, you know, anime that's trying to be raunchy, and maybe they might get a better laugh out of you than One Piece, but when in terms, when it, when it comes to, like, story, or, like, you're t trying to tell it a, uh, an engaging story, a profound story that changes people's lives. No one does comedy within that genre better than One Piece. It's incredible. And it should be studied. The comedy itself should be studied, you know? I just love that, you know, uh, every One Piece uh, content creator, like, you know, focused or they're focused on theories, me included, obviously, um, and, like, the characters and things like that, obviously me included, but, like, the thing that, like, I put my bag into, like, I put, like, all of my concentration in, like, no, why was this funny? And, like, are they going to, like, you know, because I think that's what One Piece is, bro. I think that's literally what, Oda, have you guys seen Gear 5? Have you seen Vegapunk? Oda is goofing around and telling a heartfelt story at the same time. I think if we can put more attention on the gags and study those a little bit more, I think we can predict a lot of how One Piece is going to end or what's going to happen, you know? Uh, let's see. Except Robin and Nami, what are the panties that Brooke wants to see the most? <laughs> I'm going to go Boa Hancock over Nami and Robin for sure. I, I'm going to say he wants to see Boa Hancock's panties the most. The crew cannot meet Boa Hancock because she is turning everyone into stone. Can we admit that right now? That's why That's why she hasn't like talked to them at all. The Grand Fleet is the... Oh, the Grand Line Review, you mean? He's my favorite... Uh, it feels weird. I don't know. I guess I can't say favorite, but every like I frequently watch his videos like in my downtime. His videos, Techings are a good one to watch like in your downtime. It used to be Morge 2, um, which I still watch. I still watch them all, obviously. JD Legend is a great one as well, obviously, and obviously that One Piece talk. But it's like you have to have like a certain level of engagement to watch some videos. Like I find like a good thing that I enjoy is like how like like, what's a good cozy one? And I find the Grand Line Review is, it's pretty cozy. It's really super cozy. Like I said, Tekking is also really cozy. He brings his energy into every video that he does. And he gets, like, you know, when you need to be excited for sure. But, you know, if you're just, like, if you just want, to like, a chill listening session, Tekking's really great for that. Um, Murphy's also really good. I remember watching Murphy's videos when she was first getting into One Piece. And she was, like, crying, like, talking about the arcs. And I was like, she's just like me for real. She's just like me for real. She's an amazing content creator. Just so nice. She exudes like this aura of kindness. I don't think I've seen from like a person before, much less a, a content creator. It's it's really nice and it's refreshing. And I want nothing best for all of my One Piece content creator friends. We are they are all amazing. Let's see. Dragon is Luffy's dad and mom. Hilarious. I I I I, I hope so. I'm right there with you. Hmm. Ooh, okay. uh, Grammy says, I find a lot of other One Piece content creators are too analytical. You seem to have more fun with it. Um, I do notice that, I, well, that's just what, like, th that's the value that they have. I wouldn't even levy that criticism, like, toward it. I know what you mean. Um, but I think that, you know, for instance, a lot of them are eagle-eyed enough to pick up on some of the things that I just miss, you know, because I'm stupid. But yeah, for me, it's just, it's, it's just about having fun. But I would argue that they're having fun, too. That's what's fun to them, you know, like trying to predict the next, uh, you know, chapter or writing an essay about why Zoro is better than Sanji or something like that. It's all content that we love and we enjoy. And in general, it's just a great place for all of us to, to express what we like most about One Piece. The thing that makes One Piece so awesome is that it is such a big story that we can all take value from so many different things and then make our bed in those things. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's great. Hey, dude, how's it going? Patrick, how's it going, dude? One Piece unites us. It does. It truly does. 
I pretty highly recommend Siv. His podcasts with Paravision are hilarious. I've seen them in passing and like checked out like a few probably. I want to say for sure. And I, I feel like, wasn't he on an episode of that One Piece talk? I might have seen that too. I think Siv balances goofiness and info pretty well. Oh, I'm thinking of too. Like, I think Parvision was on that One Piece talk. Or maybe Siv was too. Siv was one of those people. Because he, again, maybe, let's let's see. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong person. So let me look. But if I'm remembering correctly, Siv was posting like, spoilers galore on youtube no and again no disrespect for how like but this was before i was caught up so this was like so long ago i was seeing like thumbnails of like i i don't know but it's like i, I yeah i remember that and so i i think that was like uh i was like okay can't like can't look at can't look at these videos this was before i was caught up it was either him or maybe it wasn't Sif, but it was somebody the spoilers could be out of control i try not to do that in my videos at least in the thumbnail for god's sake <laughs> and again it might not have been Sif that was doing that i really don't know but whoever it was they were hoeing me when i was getting caught up with one piece it was hilarious Hell, honestly, Grand Line Review does it sometimes. Honestly, sometimes. I remember this last chapter I didn't read, and I saw his thumbnail for the video, video that he did for the last chapter, and I was like, damn it. <laughs> I was like, damn it. Don't tell why. Why are you doing this? Oh, man. Can Luffy copy other Devil Feud abilities in Gear 5? Um, That would be wacky. He would be too OP. Let's see. I'm just glad that the One Piece isn't going to be something like the friends we made along the way because it would be way too lame. I agree. But to be honest, we're, I mean, we're in it at this point. I'm not going to watch a thousand episodes of something and then if I'd be surprised if it's the friends along along the way. I'll be honest. But yeah, we know confirmed it's not going to be that. But if it was and Oda didn't say that, I swear to God I'd get to the end of the series like, I mean, what did I expect it to be? <laughs> I mean, when I watched a thousand episodes, what did I think it was going to be? What the hell did I think it was going to be? You know, the YouTube, the Hidden Island has a great vibe, too. I have not seen them. Perhaps I will check them out. I just muted his spoilers page. Maybe that's what it is. Like, whoever, this was a long time ago, but somebody was hoeing with their thumbnails. I'm like, my God. I hope whoever that was, whoever that was, whether it's anyone we've talked about or not, I hope they've stopped doing that, for God's sake. Um, would Nami and Robin be also turned into stone by Boa? Mm. I want to say yes. I just, I want to say yes, to be honest. I haven't met anybody in real life or in One Piece that I think <laughs> would be able to do anything uh, next to Boa. I would laugh if that was chiseled on a rock and laugh till you made a, you made friends. Yeah, I can see how the king of the pirates would laugh if that was chiseled in a rock on laugh tile. You made friends. Like, you made some friends, didn't you? Well, that's the one piece, baby. <laughs> Nami, yes. Robin, maybe. I, uh, yeah, I, ah, uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I definitely, I would agree with that. I would say for sure Nami, I want to say both. I'll be honest. I want to say both of them would be turned to stone, honestly. But for sure, not me, I think. Chopper wouldn't be turned to stone. That is true. Chopper would not be. <laughs> Whoa, Jeffy, the one piece will be the friends we lost along the way, all chilling on Laugh Tale. That would be crazy. Ace, Roger, and everybody is just on. Dude, what if Laugh Tale is like the land of the dead or something like that? Like, not that morbid, but literally exactly what you said. That would be nuts. That would be nuts. Nami would only be turned to stone by money, not beauty. Maybe. I, I, I just, I see, maybe you're right. I see Nami as being, I just, I've met like, Really, just, like Aisha is just like Nami. When me and Aisha go out drinking, is she if we see a Boa Hancock, we're both getting turned to stone. So maybe I'm just like planting my Nakama in where Nami is. Like Aisha's my Nami. If me and Aisha go out drinking, she's gonna be like, 
You see Boa Hancock over there? And actually, she, she'll just be turned to stone. I'll have to figure out what happened. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to say, I'll be like, what happened? And then I'm definitely turned to stone. <laughs> Mary just hanging out on the shore. Sanji would turn to stone. His heart would beat and then he'd shatter. Yeah, Sanji's a, Sanji's a goner. It's over, dude. It's literally over. Literally over. Oh, man. What's up, The Rock? Uh, are you going to WrestleMania, man? You need to leave Cody Rhodes alone, bro. The Rock, you need to chill out. You need to quit being... Your new tagline is, you're the final boss? The Rock, get out of here, dude. Stop, stop messing with Cody Rhodes, bro. Sniper Island. We would get a reunion between Ace and Luffy. Yeah, yeah. If that is it, that's a really good theory. I mean, it's, again, I try not to, like, anytime I hear or, like, get into, like, a really good theory, I try not to put, like, my heart into it because, like, you know, Ode is just going to create something. The next chapter is going to be like, hey, and you know what? The the Laugh Tale is definitely not the friends we lost along the way. He's literally just going to say that. So I try not to get invested, but I love that. I love that so much because it creates, like, so many problems down the line. It creates, like, um... <laughs> the Rock's like, I'll try. No promises now. All right, Rock. Take it easy. But um, it creates so many problems for Luffy to have to figure out because, like, his entire... Well, not his entire arc, but the thing that we know for sure is the fact that he's gotten over Ace's uh, death and that he encourages people who need to get over it, too. Like, when Tama wouldn't accept that Ace was gone, Luffy was like, he's gone. You need to accept it. But what if Luffy gets face-to-face -face with his brother? Or, like, what if there's an Ace Seraphim, too? Like, I want to see Luffy's, like... Resolve tested in ways like that. I think that'd be really cool. Mm -mm. So you can no shirt. Sure. Ooh. But you know. Well, guys, I have to pee. So this has been great 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 and i also have to play final fantasy i'll be honest i truly 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 have to play final fantasy um but let's do hmm whoa oh that's why let's see love your personality content fam def gotta mention you in a verse this year hey hey love that appreciate you remember sb didn't even think about an Ace Seraphim and that. Oh, that's why it's going. The chat's going ridiculous. I've got two chats open. Thanks for the stream, Moogie. Love the music so much. So we can jam. Yes, you do. So we can jam. Yeah, you. are you getting on live like right now, Jim? What are you about to do? I have to, oh, I have to pee so bad. But I don't have, there's no one else to like take the like, usually when I go pee, like there's somebody that's like on stream, you know what I'm saying, that can like talk to these people while I'm out of here. Luffy will misremember the name Nika as Niku Meat, and at some point, I'm calling it now. I agree. No bit. Thank you for the $5 donation. That's a... Yeah, he's going to be like... So, apparently, I'm like I'm like uh, Niku or something. Yeah, apparently, I'm just like the, the meat god or something. I don't know. I have no idea what that means. Uh, but, yeah. Um, love you guys so very much. I hope that this helps like you know the break week's gonna be hard but we're gonna all get through it i'm definitely gonna do this for the next the following weeks too as well as stream with uh my friends and stuff like that um uh jim i'm st streaming right now at my desk eating dinner well let me know if you want me i'll pop by in your live stream for sure and then i'll get back on after i take a break and then we can we can do something but i'll definitely be in your chat when you start streaming jim so be on the lookout for that uh, everybody wave to Jimmy, tell him that you love him and that you should, you will definitely, apparently he's streaming, when are you streaming at eight? Let's see. Is that what you said? He's streaming in a second. I, I feel like he said eight. God, I have to pee so bad. This is crazy. I feel like he said like eight. Go over to Jimmy. He's going to be streaming and you'll be able to see us and interact with us. We'll be able to do stuff, but go seriously, go check out, uh, Jimmy's, uh, YouTube page. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. Um, I think podcasts are going to win on the Patreon. Check out the Patreon. It's it's a free poll. If you think you want to see more live streams with us or podcasts and things like that, just go in there, drop like a vote so that we know what you guys want to see uh, better. Um, so when we create like the new channel to focus more on the Movie Goof Pirates and like live streams and communicating with you guys and stuff like that, 
um, or we'll do more stuff like this. But uh, yeah, love you guys so much. Um, thank you so much for an amazing time. Yep, uh, Jim said 8 p.m. So yeah, you guys, uh, if you want to, uh, definitely go check out Jimmy. We will be in the chat and you can talk a little bit more. Um, I have to pee <laughs> and play Final Fantasy and eat. I'm very starving. But um, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm going, Jim. But love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me get through this, like, break week, the first break week. Let's do it again next week, and maybe we'll stream later on this week, like, a game or something like that. Um, if you get, if you're feeling froggy, go over to the Patreon and vote what you want to see more of. Podcasts with me, Jimmy, Asia, and all of the other Moogie Goof Pirates, or live streams. Um, just let me, because I just want to hear what you guys think. Go over, like I said, it's a free poll. That's it. That's I'm done. I have to pee. Love you guys so much. Mm. 